Hello. How are you guys doing? Hello, Betton. Hello, Plasma. Uh, sorry, I had a moment of hesitation there because I couldn't remember if I had hit my hotkey for uh, starting the gameplay audio or not. And uh, I, I think I hit it once. So I'm pretty sure you should be hearing the game. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we are back with more Dark Souls Arch Thrones. Uh, so far, uh, this has been, like, potentially the m most impressive mod I've ever played, and it's still just the demo. And I've been only, like, part of the way through said demo. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get straight into it, you know? Yeah, I, I guess I... I we already we just began and I guess I already kind of lost because as we know, hesitation is defeat. Some weird texture pop in there. Uh was this dead guy here or the whole time? I, I, yeah, I think he was there at the beginning. <laughs> so I kind of realized actually um Wait, is my HUD just completely off or is it Okay, no, I have it on auto hide partial. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, I was kind of concerned after finishing the stream last week. I was like, I feel like I'm potentially shortchanging this mod a bit. Okay, that's kind of bothering me that it's... Um... Where is the HUD? Where are the HUD options? Um, anyway, so I was kind of concerned that I might be like slightly shortchanging the mod a bit because I completely defaulted to my typical strength build. Not and not only that, I'm using a weapon that is like one for one a weapon that I'm used to from Elden Ring. <laughs> I think I should like branch out a bit <laughs> I don't know maybe maybe I'll have to do like a respec and try out a different weapon or something <laughs> but anyway we're picking things back up at the Cathedral of the Deep which I haven't gone through at all yet in the mod um oh interesting so it'll be interesting to see what is different here now. Oh, that item's still there. It's interesting that you say you haven't seen any anybody else cover Arch Thrones yet, because I'm pretty sure... I, I feel like I've seen... Like, quite a few... Nice. Like, $2. Uh, I feel like I've actually seen quite a few people covering it. Like, I know if somebody like, like Prod, I think, has been doing a series with it and has streamed it. Uh, I think Aggie has been streaming it a bit. Yeah, so yeah, to kind of summarize from last time, we made it through Carthus of the Sands. I believe all everything that's there, and yes, we killed the, uh, the, the crazy necromancer guy. Uh, who was quite possibly the best, uh, like, modded boss that I've ever fought. Get out of here, you stupid dog. Ooh. Oh boy, wooden shield. Just what I wanted. Okay. Somebody else died here. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of hope that, like, even if I do end up getting bigger, that, uh, I think that's just my starting weapon.
Yeah. Oh, you know what I haven't tried? I wonder if did they potentially add like power stancing into this? Let me just see what happens. Holy shit, they did! <laughs> I was just I did I had I did not at all expect that anything would actually happen there. <laughs> Okay, well, power stancing is, uh, is now a, a thing. <laughs> like, seriously, I, th I thought I was gonna say that and... ...hit L1 and it would just do the one of, you know, just use my left hand... ...sword. And that would be that. <laughs> Well, how versatile is it, actually, now that I'm... Colossal weapon? Do I have any other colossal weapons? I do not. Okay. Well, yeah, what I kind of started to say before getting... before cutting myself off a bit was, uh... Yeah, I kind of hope that... <laughs> Help me, Carvey. Uh, I kind of hope that even if I do end up getting bigger, that I'll still at least keep, like, some level of, like, interaction. Because, yes, I, I, I completely agree that that is, like, a large portion of, like, a celestial pupa is, like, a large portion of, like, what makes streaming interesting. Hmm. Oh, it did not lie. Uh, you know what? They earned it? I'll give them an appraisal. Uh, hopefully... Okay, good. I, I, I'm, so I'm using a PS... I use a PS4 controller and I wasn't entirely sure how things would be mapped. I didn't want to accidentally give them a core rating when I meant to give them a good- Ow! Shit! God! Just let me do my cool move, dude! What I was interested to see is if this does- Yes, it does! Okay! So in Elden Ring, it has like a new- Heavy attack when you do the uh, the weapon art. I was interested to see if it would still do that, and it does. Just minus the the one in Elden Ring. The actual weapon in Elden Ring has like a shock wave that it does when you do that. Did I just? Okay, yeah, I just went in a circle. Uh. Yeah, that's where I fought the evangelist. Um, am I looping back on myself again? No, okay. This is. I actually found where I want to be. Ah! Jeez. Go back to the drag heap where you belong. Yeah, like, I honestly, I... Like, I've watched... Every now and then... Oh, God. Oh, God, there's... Ah! Shit! Run away! <laughs> like, I've watched some stuff where, like... I, I, and so, like, somebody has had, like, their chat on screen, and there's, like, legit messages saying, like... How the streamer just doesn't have any intention of like paying attention to chat while they're playing the game, and I'm like, well, then what's the point? 
Like, even if you're, like, larger, if you're just not paying attention to chat at all, like, what what is the point? Why bother? <laughs> I don't, I don't remember who it was where I saw that, but I saw that pop up and I was like, then, like, I get that you're doing, like, it said something about, like, wow, they're focused on the game, you know, they're focusing on the game so they won't be nice, as a start, so they won't be, like, looking at chat, but, like, at the same time, then what's kind of, it kind of feels like it defeats the point to me. They really like their dogs in this area, don't they? Pear powder? You know what I haven't been keeping an eye out for? I don't know if I've even checked anywhere for, uh, for illusory walls. I feel like I should be doing a better job of punching walls and stuff. Blossom. Okay. Ah! ah! God. No, there's a whole bunch of them. However, I do just one-shot them. <laughs> so I think this was kind of the intended place to go. Like, I feel like this might be scaled even lower than Karthus was. I feel like this might have been the, like, intended second area. <laughs> yeah, and I'm getting regular Titanite shards, too. Raw gem. Ugh. Okay. What the fuck are you? <laughs> okay, so they have the Herald Knight moveset from the Ring City, but... Ugh. That was a creepy-ass model. Murky Moss. Yeah, like, I get, uh, you know, when you hit, like, a certain amount, it is actually just, like, really hard to, you know, like, have a conversation with people, but... You know, you can still just somewhat, you know, if like, I mean, I guess also, you know, if you have a lot, like, a lot of active chatters, you know, it would be going really fast, but you know, still like, acknowledging if something like, catches your eye, doesn't feel like it would be that hard, but you know, whatever. I, I, it's not like I can talk from experience or anything. Yeah, this was definitely, I, I think, intended to be, like, the second place you go, because I'm getting a lot of, kind of, low-level upgrade materials and stuff. Did I actually go up here? I think I did, but I'm not entirely sure. Ah, oh, damn it. God. Stupid dog. Um. Do 
to humanities. Ah, the classic. Somebody probably said that this was an illusory wall. So they're calling them a liar, but I don't have the this is an illusory wall message. So now it's just somebody saying that there's a liar ahead. Which potentially makes it confusing because maybe they're calling the wall a liar. In which case, it's doing the exact opposite of what they intended. <laughs> Uh, where, where am I? Okay. You know, maybe I should have just, like, dropped into the church and rested at the bonfire. Whatever. Yeah, I think one of the other things that I see a lot is, like, when somebody gets, like, really big and it's hard to, like, get, like, a good opinion on stuff, uh... I, I see a lot, like, the type 1 for this, or, like, 0 for that, or something like that, just to, like... And, like, gauging based off of, like, how many... ones and w whatnot you see. But, I mean, it's not quite the same as, you know, like... What you guys are talking about with like it having consequences for the actual gameplay oh shit i thought i could g get to him in time <laughs> all right well i'm out of heals uh, i'm sure this will be fine Okay, I don't know what he was doing there, but I'm pr it's probably good that I stopped it. I think he might have been like calling for help or something. <laughs> no. You guys sure are noisy. I feel like this won't have a huge amount of views, considering there's no... What the fuck are you? <laughs> They're like the giant curse monster. Except, like, baby versions. <laughs> they have yet to grow up. I killed them before they could reach their prime. I... I would say I feel bad, but... Considering what they'll grow into, I, I do not. I, I was still holding the sprint button because I was expecting a roll there. No. I, I still don't know what that does, but I'm not going to let you do it. Yeah, they do kind of look like the, uh... uh what are they called? The, the, the crag spiders. God, these guys are really noisy. Oh, you're gonna turn into a... Okay. I did not get sludge monstered. Damn it! Come on. 
You have a gigantic axe, Gorkle. Gorkle? Gorkle. You have a gigantic axe, Gorkle. You gotta, you gotta hit your targets, man. No, I was kind of half expecting this to be locked. I feel like that might be a bug. I kind of think that that gate was supposed to have some sort of sound effect when you opened it. Oh, hello. Another one of you. <laughs> okay, so I can just kind of sunlock it unless it jumps into the air. Yeah, this is, this is another kind of cool version, place where, you know, they've like... Oh, thanks for the hurting stones that I just pulled out of your ass. It's kind of another version of them, like, picking an existing level and then kind of, like, reimagining it as, like, how it maybe could have been back in the day with, like, actually with, like, enemies that make sense to exist here and stuff like that. Okay. I don't like the insinuation of the Shrine of a Mana song. In addition, that sure as hell looks like a brain sucker from Bloodborne. What the hell is going on here? Have we reached Bloodborne Zone? I, I believe so. Yes, that is 100% a brain sucker from Bloodborne. Okay, I thought it was the one that was singing, and I was going to be kind of confused, but it, it does not appear so. hell are you? Is it like a... one of the chaos parasites from Lost Isolith? <laughs> Alright, well, this area is kind of creepy now. <laughs> I, I, okay, the Shrine of Amana music stopped, and now there is just a very off, uh, a very unsettling kind of, like, grinding in the background. That's kind of the best way to describe it, I think. Hello. Did you just black sky eye me? <laughs> Idiot. This is a cool looking design here, though. Although, one thing I'm a uh, tad confused about is why they would be in a worse state now than, it, like, this takes place before DS3. I guess I'm a little confused as to why they would be in a worse state now compared to then, but. Whatever. They look cool. Doesn't matter. I wonder if Gale's still gonna be down here. Okay, now the, uh... Music stopped. I was half expecting there to be, like, an enemy out here. Uh, hello. You don't belong in this game.
I can't interact with you, though. Our eyes have yet to open. That, that's a very poor interpretation of Master Willem's voice. You know, it's very nasally. No, 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 Gale. Oh, merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn. Uh, let's see, what do I have? I do have Nessus Shard. Oh, what are these new... Reduces FP consumption for a time. I think I got another new... Murky Moss. Increases absorption for a time. Isn't that the same? I thought I had another one. Maybe, I, maybe that's not new. Maybe I just already had that. Uh, anyway, do I have any... I have two scales. I don't think that's enough to level this. Where even is it? Yeah, I need two more Titanite scales. Alright, I guess I'll just love one and head back. I see that if thou wish it. I can increase the capacity of thy undead flask. Sure, thank you. Very well, take note. Um, let's see. You know what? That's slightly bothering me that it's at 21. I'm just gonna level that out. Make that an even 30. So yeah, I think <clears throat> one thing I have kind of decided recently is um, I think after I get, finally get the next part of the uh, the Sekiro randomizer, can I talk to you now? Uh, maybe the area I just needed to like reload. Nope. Hello, Grandpa. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm not gonna resume the elder abuse and whatnot from the end of the Dark Souls 2 poorly translated run. <laughs> I don't I don't think Gorkle is that type that type of person. <laughs> anyway, what I started to say was uh I think I have decided that after I get the next part of the Sekiro randomizer out, I think uh part one of editing this run is gonna be the next thing that I work on. Okay, now that I figure out what the hell you are. Oh, they're like the they're like a weird cross between like a humanoid version of the the locusts from the ringed city. Weird. That, come on, just give me the bat. There we go. But like, I think overall, that's kind of be. I think I'm gonna try out a somewhat newer. A, a somewhat different approach with like edit oh god not you of all the enemies to bring back why did it have to be the winter lanterns but hey they're uh, uh, god there's like slightly more balanced because they don't just they don't do frenzy as soon as you're in line of sight, which is in itself is a slightly broken 
status effect. But anyway, yeah, I think that's going to be like a slightly different approach that I start taking with edited content now that I'm like streaming regularly. Uh, you know, I have like a bunch of extra recording stuff, so I think I'm going to kind of do a bit more like bouncing around between runs instead of just like... Focusing on in a, in a single run on the editing side. I feel like that might be a bit better as far as kind of keeping people engaged. So, you know, if I switch to editing a run that some, you know, some people might be less interested in, like the Sekiro run, uh, you yeah, know, there might still be something that I'm working on that... Oh god, this is, this is like really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually a horror level now. Um, yeah, that, 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 then if I'm, like, doing a run that people are less interested in, I might still have something going on in, the, in addition uh, that people are actually interested in, so then might help some people kind of stick around. No. Okay, you just kind of missed. I'm fine with that. Although maybe I should let it get let one of those get a hold of me just to just to test it to see if they do still suck your brain. Yeah, well, now that I'm thinking of it that that Winter Lantern enemy I had slightly spoiled for me because I just saw it not too long ago. Like where Prod's up to in his edit, edits of his, his ver run of this, I think he like just put up a video from this area, and uh, that that enemy was in the thumbnail. So I, I slightly had that spoil for me, but you know, what are you gonna do? Oop, the Cathedral Knight set. That and I have had, uh, I have been shown a few thumbnails for like other people's stuff that have had some like bosses and stuff in the thumbnail. So not all of the bosses will be like a hundred percent a surprise, but it's not that big of a deal. Just oh god, hello. Just like seeing what a boss looks like doesn't you know tell you anything about where they are what they do. What kind of kinky shit they're into. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. I've managed to get captured during my research. If you facilitate my escape, we could be fast friends. Well, I'll get on that eventually. Please hurry. They'll eat me if you don't. Alright, well... I, I'm happy to help if I actually find the key for you. So the Winter Lantern. Wait, hang on. These rocks are also from Bloodborne. And you're in the, like, Nightmare of Mensis. Nightmare Frontier. Here we go. You just killed your friend. Oh god, they, they do seem to have some sort of passive curse build up, though. But where am I? Okay, so th this is, like, down where the giants usually are, but it's been, like... They added some wall, or I guess... Okay, by the time of DS3, I guess they, uh... Decided to... Tear down these walls here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go open up this shortcut here. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to think. Have so, like, I didn't get invaded by Kirk there. 
I'm trying to think, have, have there been any NPC invaders yet? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty fine on healing and, uh, health, so. Let's check out what's up here. I feel like this elevator usually starts down. Cause I was I was one hundred percent about to walk through that door and just try to walk right onto the, the elevator and would have just walked into the and the bottomless pit. Camera. Oh. Hello. Oh, I see you're one of the, uh, watchers from the Chalice Dungeons. Interesting. Oh god. Cursed spiders are actually pretty freaky, man. Oh, you know what? I think they actually ha have the move set from the, uh, the the Bloodborne spiders. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that I think, it, yeah, you're right. I did get. Um, that's how I got this extra flask thing that you can mix other stuff into for different effects. Yeah, I got invaded in Firelink. Uh, go away. Man, this is, this is cool. <laughs> ah. Why are there spiders everywhere? It reminds me of the... I mean, this is probably what they're kind of going for. Oh god, I just saw... something poking out of the ground. Okay, I thought something was gonna, like, pop up through the floor, but... But yeah, this is giving me the vibes from like the uh, the East Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne. Okay, it sounds from the tone of these messages that something might have glitched there. I, I think I was supposed to have something like surprise attack me. Right. Is there anything else up here that might have been added? Nope. Just this weird spider. Well, I kept the worm, guys. Nice miss. Well done, Grarkle. I mean, I guess the... Oh, come on. No, we ain't gonna have any of this magic shit around here. Go away. Oh, a torch. Oh, I, you know, should be paying better attention to my health because I was pretty low there. Stop that. Oh, pale tongue. 
just what I wanted. Is this still gonna be the same covenant, or is somebody else gonna be here? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume that somebody else is here, because apparently this is a boss fight. <laughs> Try range spout. Really? Okay. Saint Quint. Oh, he's <laughs> He's a godskin apostle. Oh. Well, now the question. Okay. Question it always is when you get. Okay, except I can't equip a shield because it's going to overburden me. And also, I don't feel like messing around in menus while I'm fighting a boss. <laughs> but the question it always is with bosses like this that are straight from Elden Ring. Is he still parryable? Because it doesn't seem like the uh, the multiple parries to stagger mechanic has been implemented. Uh, okay, he now has a bunch of worm friends. And uh, from the appearance of... Where the fuck did you go? Okay! Well, he turned into the one reborn. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah, was not expecting the Godskin Apostle to one reborn transition. Oh god, there we. Hey. All right, one hit. GG, Saint Clint. I feel like I was way overpowered for that fight. Oh God, they're moving. Ludwig's corpses have migrated to here. Okay. Whatever you say, message. I, I did not need either of those. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. That was... Uh, that was... Impressively modeled. Uh, is maybe did not get quite as much out of the fight as I would maybe should have because uh, I'm definitely overpowered. Don't black sky eye me. It's rude. Is that how you treat all of your guests? Oh, he's okay. He has a the bell bearing hunter move set. I'm guessing they recommended ranged battle because... Okay, is that going to be a lie about the no enemy, or is there actually... Oh, Cathedral Knight Greatsword. 
That one's pretty good in the regular game. I'm guessing they were recommending ranged battle for phase two because it did have some like proximity sludge around it that was damaging me. Oh, okay, they changed this elevator. It's always annoying when you go around like that in the regular game, actually, and then the elevator's just not there. Is that where it was before? No, it must not be because there's items there. Like, there is, there is, like, a skip that you can do to drop down that elevator shaft. But I don't know how to do it. Ah, shit. Okay. I wasn't expecting the charge up to have its own hit. Okay, so there's another Winter Lantern over there. This looks breakable. It is. Okay. Oh, hello, bonfire. Is the statue broken or does it just have a weird... Okay, I think it's broken. Oh, it's a Velka. Okay, well, I, as far as I'm aware, I have not committed. Uh, I think Oracle is pretty pure of heart and hasn't committed any sins, but I could be wrong. Okay, we're getting some additional. Oh, the music stopped. I think that was for the Velka room. Ah! <laughs> uh, you chickened out Arch Thrones mod. I know exactly which Chalice Dungeon enemy this is from. You chickened out by not making him weirdly shiny and completely naked while he's rolling around trying to hit you with his big club. I, I will have to dock you some points for that, Arch Thrones. I'm sorry, but it's necessary. Yes. <laughs> yes, message. I can very clearly see that there is an enemy ahead. <laughs> Deacon robe and skirt. You're creeping me out. You can go away. Oh man, I'm also now kind of wondering... Uh, so the... Winter Lanterns and Bloodborne, you can parry them. I'm getting curious to see if you can parry them in this mod. I might regret this, but uh, well, let's give it a try. Although I'm gonna have to... take something off so I can... Uh, actually equip the shield without fat rolling. Okay, let's put those gloves on. I'm curious. Although I need another Winter Lantern to show up somewhere before I can even test it. And I don't hear any more Shrine of Amana singing. I might have missed my chance. No, get away from me. Oh, I know what moveset they have. They have the moveset of the, uh... The, the little... The little blue alien guys from Bloodborne. The, um... The... The celestial emissaries. That just kind of slap you around. Holy shit! Don't surprise me like that, you... Asshole spiders! 
Ah, shit! The mom showed up! Okay, Ma Ma Mama Spider seems kind of pissed. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably deserved, considering how many of her children I've killed. Okay, that's an attack boost. Well, this curse... Okay, curse cloud is gone. Oh, stagger with a single running R2 headshot. This axe does not fuck around. No. No. God, where are these things coming from? Wait, is there a naked trio? I know that like there's the Watcher trio, but the one, the version of it I'm thinking of, or both versions of it that I'm thinking of, they're all fully clothed. Is there a version where they're naked? I mean, like I could totally see that in like. Aha! One of the like randomly generated ones that's showing up. That would be hilarious. Although they are incredibly annoying at, uh, for a BO4 run, at least the second, the second version especially. Nope. Not gonna let you do that. <laughs> uh, because the second version of it that I'm the one that I'm thinking of uh, is in like a really tiny room. It's like these four pillars in it. And you have, like, no... You're still, like, leaking magic crap out of you. Are you gonna, like, resurrect? Oh, wait. That hit... Oh, god. What, what, what is happening to Gorkle? Okay, this is going back to the original bonfire. Alright, I think we're good to head towards what's usually the deacons. Did it get me again? No, didn't get me this time. What was that? Oh, that was the mist. But I've actually, I've, so, after I finished uh, my Bloodborne BO4 run that I did just, like, casually, it was before I even started this channel. After I finished it, I was like, well, I'm never doing this again. Uh, but I have actually been thinking that I might do a slightly more challenging version of it for the channel at some point when I eventually get a capture card and have things set up so I can record with my PS4. Uh, but, um, I've been thinking that I might try a more challenging version of it where, uh, I don't allow things like weapon buffs and, uh, beast blood pellets. Get a bit more health. Uh, what are, what are the actual strength requirements on this axe? 42. Okay, so I kind of will probably want a bit more strength. Because in the the original BO4 run that I did, which I guess for people unfamiliar, BO4 is the... I was trying to work from the spawn fire. That's not how it works in this mod. Uh, BO4 is like the equivalent of a Dark Souls SO1 run. But the lowest level you can play, you can get in Bloodborne is level 4, for reasons. Uh, but yeah, the original run of that that I did casually was... Uh, 
Yeah, I, I didn't have any, like, extra restrictions on it. So, oh, hello, there's a person here. What's up? Uh, but the original version of it, I did, I allowed, like, everything. Um, and man, blood, blood, beast blood pellets can just absolutely fuck things up, even at level four. Ah, a visitor. I'm glad you're different than those heretics masquerading as clergy. My title is Preceptor Ken. I have existed for a long time, serving my master in whatever form that takes. I've been in hiding, however, as I must ensure the Cathedral's sinful practices are put to rest. Humans are creatures of filth. Hey. Such filth brings about disease and misery. That hurts, Karen. Yet due reverence is entitled to any and all dead. As far as I'm aware, Gorkle is 100% human. What should remain buried. Their corruption has revived the repugnant Aldrich and soiled their miracles. The quality of man you humans see fit to crown a lord. I am a Finito. We weave death and watch Ooh, over the Nice dead. Dark Souls 2 link there. My mission was granted to me by the God of Disease. Once upon a time, my kind served another. But no matter what garb we wear or what master we serve, as long as the peace of the dead demands protection, we Finito will remain. The miracles of the Church of the Deep were once beautiful. The deacons have tarnished their memory by their crudeness. <laughs> it seems even the most devout of humans can't avoid succumbing to filth. I really think that you have some sort of... Uh borderline racist maybe not even borderline just straight up racist views of uh humans there mr uh mr finito humans are cr okay Such now you're just repeating yourself you know ha have fun just sitting there in your meditation of hate speech i don't want any part of anything to deal with you No, that's just the elevator down from where I was. Uh, anything new over here? Nope. This looks suspiciously like the Archdeacon that you fight in uh, the Deacons of the Deep fight. Except he is an enemy, so that's a little confusing. Ah, yeah, yes, you are correct. Message, it, it sure does appear to be a the throne. Are these guys still parryable? Well, not if I hit L2 and absolutely nothing happens. Haha, <laughs> they are. Except I'm not two-handing, so this is gonna do, like, tiny damage. Oh god, I just... Saw right up his, uh... Outfit there. It's not really a view that I needed. Oh, you're still alive. Let me fix that. Are you like actually hostile or what what's your deal, Archdeacon? I mean if the master just tells me to do it. Cool. A sorcery that I won't use, probably. Oh. Don't roll on me. It, 
you would stop just slowly walking away, I could have ended this sooner. And you wouldn't have had to suffer. Oh, I was rich. Uh, you're glowing, so I'm I'm gonna hit you. I'm not entirely sure what's happening right now, but I'm gonna go with the typical hit the glowing ones, which is kind of how this fight usually ow, dick. Okay, more glowing ones are just spawning it. I don't know if there's actually any benefit to hitting them. Because I feel like this is going to kind of just keep going until Aldrich's health bar fills up. Oh, uh, they all just committed seppuku. Ah! Except this will be a different look for Aldrich. Yeah. Because he hasn't eaten Gwendolyn yet. Oh, oh, there's slime monsters. Hello. A lot of slime monsters. Not entirely sure what's going on right now because I seem to be like occasionally building up like a tiny amount of curse and then it's like immediately going away. Was that a second? Okay. For a split second there, I thought I saw a second Aldrich. <laughs> ah, except these are the switches from the Bloodborne Chalice dungeons. You know, if I had a weapon with fire attack, that would be kind of helpful here. <laughs> okay. These heals kind of suck. Where are you? There you are. A weird fight. And also one of the first fights where I I cannot tell if this is using moves from like a different boss. It, I cannot if it is, I don't know what its moves are from. But I'm gonna go over here and heal. Shit. Oh, that missed. Oh, uh, wait, am I dead? Oh. Okay. Apparently I'm dead. I think what happened there is I got stuck in a small cluster of the uh, the little slimes. Which probably wasn't the best move. Oh, 
Yeah, so it does kind of seem... Oh my god. It does kind of seem like uh, in that beginning portion there where they're kind of built where they're building up his health bar. It does seem like there is like an end to it if you hit enough of them and that like maybe he gets if you kill him fast enough he has reduced HP for the fight. Seems like that's kind of what's going on. I think after I killed the two extra ones that spawned in, that's when the other ones sudokued themselves. Yes. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, I was incorrect last, the, the first time around when I said that uh, it seemed like killing them wasn't doing anything. It does seem like the faster you kill them, the less health he has when he comes in. Ah! I think it's kind of messing with me that there are just so many things going on. Like, a ton of slimes that can potentially shoot projectiles. The boss itself that shoots a bunch of projectiles. And they're all... And it's kind of dark in here, and they're all black while moving around on top of black sludge. Ow. Ah! Don't die to this again. Alright. Cool. I, uh... I definitely hit dodge, but I think I was still in the recovery frames from the initial dodge to get out of being stuck on the ground. I think that's still... <laughs> I think that still counts. <laughs> Although I do have to run back there to get the, um, even if it did count, I, I have to run back there because all the souls from the boss fight are now in the arena. Ow. So I'd get the, the, one last little bit of uh, irritation in, you know. <laughs> ah, here's a little curse before I can head out. The boss kill did count. And now I have um, almost 18,000 souls to do whatever the hell I want with. I think that's it. So what, the one thing that I am a bit confused about with this mod is that... So I, obviously there's going to be more levels added in, but I, I, one thing I'm a bit confused about is like how those levels will like link together. Like I'm not... I, I haven't played uh, Demon Souls, so I don't know how things link together. Oh, he got me with the ass slam. 
So, I, like, I'm assuming that they'll probably link together the same way that, however the hell they do in Demon Souls, but... I, I don't know how that game man, handles that. Okay, well, back to the Nexus. See now, where do we want to go? Well, I'll do some levels first. Very well. Then take nourishment. Let these souls be drawn from their vessels. Manifestation. Farewell, emissary. <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. He does kind of have. A kind of plague doctory look going, but that's that's just his face. <laughs> um, let's see. So which which one was this? Okay, this was that one. The Heights Tower Flame, Alam Lois. Looks like it should open. I wonder if that's going to be like the door to the final boss in the full mod. Well, I guess what I was kind of getting at with like how things link together, I guess is like... So like in Demon's Souls, when you unlock new levels from an arch stone, does it, do they just show up in the menu? And you just go there? Uh, let's go back to ear. Uh, the... Hades Tower of Flame. I feel like I've said this multiple times on stream, but I, I am really hoping that they eventually decide to, uh, the Demon Souls remake to PC. It, like, it feels almost kind of weird that they haven't yet, because I feel like every other PS5 launch game has been ported to PC by now. And even some non-launch like launch titles that are like kind of flagship PlayStation titles. Like, I think Horizon Forbidden West, like, just got ported to PC. Which is, uh... I'm, I'm gonna need to get on that, because... I love Horizon Forbidden West. Have not played... Or, I love Horizon Zero of Dawn. And I want to play Forbidden West, obviously, so... Yeah, I, gotta, uh, I need to get myself a copy of that. I don't think that was supposed to still be there, because I already grabbed that the first time I was here. Come here. I'm gonna try to parry you. Way too early. There we go. Except I had to two-hand my weapon and was not quick enough about it. Wow, you just had to do one more jump back. Ha ha ha. How do you like that? He's doing a very good job of uh, doing a lot of chip damage to me. And eating up one of my heals. Come here! Ow! <laughs> oh god, I angered, angered another one. I think I said angered. At one point there. 
not really what I wanted to say. Uh, kind of got stuck between aggro and uh, angered, but you know. The English language is flexible. Yeah, you're right. I don't think we have seen much Dark Souls 1. Apart from, like, I think it's this Arch Stone, or Arch Throne, excuse me, is uh, the Gwyn Arch Throne. But yeah, apart from that, I can't really think of any, like, direct DS1 lightings. I mean, that could just... Uh, part of that could just be that, you know, like, overall, the enemies and bosses and stuff in DS1 are a lot more simplistic moveset-wise, and that's kind of... doesn't quite fit as well with this. And, you know, like, the combat speed and everything in DS3 is a lot quicker. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, the fir the yeah the tutorial boss's first phase was an asylum demon. Ooh, some new pants. Although it could also have been like what they were referencing when they made the move set for the mod. It could have been referencing the uh, the the Erd tree avatars from Elden Ring, which have almost the exact same move set as asylum demons. Which I mean, I guess would still indirectly be. A silent demon, but whatever. All right, that was supposed to be backstab, but okay. I should probably pick up my bloodstain. Okay, so I guess if they're all just very just disconnected, I don't know. I guess that's making me a bit more confused that about how this body is uh, going to be laid out in the end because they definitely said that the demo is just like the first levels from the uh the each like arch throne so it's like level one from each of the arch thrones so uh yeah now i'm even more confused how things are gonna work out with that progression wise Like if you have to, if you'll have to like advance one arch throne to like open up no more stuff in one of the other ones. Okay, so what's up here? No more dragon. Uh, just this dude who has a weapon that looks suspiciously like the black knife from Elden Ring. And a friend, but I'm gonna try to not aggro the friend. Because I've never fought one of these enemies before, and I would prefer to not have my first fight against them be two on one. That seems like it would be a kind of poor choice. Come here. Maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll switch things up, and instead of Ornstein being here, they'll put a they'll put Smo in. Ow! Okay, he just. 
No, oh, that's a that's you're still okay. They weren't lying when they said that this was the Tower of the Phoenix. I hate you! Go! God damn! Why did they have to port the birds from Elden Ring? But, uh, yeah, that, that guy appeared to at least have the, uh, the explosion move from the Woo guys from Sekiro. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna swap this buckler in. Instead of that other shield. Because bucklers are better. I think that was also lighter, so I might be able to... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'm at a very nice equip load percentage right now. <laughs> All right, what's going to be in here? An Keeper of the old gods. How about the foul spirits? Thy evil shall not tread this hallowed ground. Okay, he seems to have the, uh... Some of the monk moves from Sekiro. Damn. I don't like that. Okay, that was a... Emma slash Ishii move there. Ow. Oh, there you, that might have that might have been a uh, DS1 move there. That looked like um, what's his face? The merchant guy from the DLC's sweep kick. Although then again, uh, okay, that was definitely an Ichimanji. Shit. Yeah, that, that was the, uh, at least, uh, like, the first move of the Dragon Flash. How did what I just input turn into a kick? Ah, shit, did I get taken to horny jail? Okay, me in the edit, can you pull out... Uh, uh, okay, so I think that was an intended... ...thing there, but, uh, me in the edit, can you pull out a microscope, uh, and look at that health bar, please? Thanks, buddy. Okay, who, who the hell are you in... Why did you do? Why did you kidnap me? To what I can only assume is your hentai library. Ah, good morning, emissary. Hey, easy, easy. I know. I must apologize. I mistook thee for a convict. See, the war above led to a jailbreak. This is fucking Vati. Didn't recognize me before. My name's Flynn. Well known here amongst the likes of Ricard and Faris. 
Now, now, let us speak on business. I know you have a duty to uphold. I am a thief, a, a treasure hunter. I know where to find it, and I know what it's worth. For your continued cooperation, let us enter into a partnership. I'll tell you where to find powerful souls or other trinkets, and you and I can split the difference. What do you say? Okay, Flynn. I, I know. I know you're working on a. You, where? When are you gonna dump a bunch of lore on me? Please explain this game to me. Huh. And could you return the souls that I dropped when you killed me? Because I would be able to buy this kind of neat sounding horn here uh, if you hadn't killed me. Forty decks. Knowest thee of my grand adventures? I am but a thief, yet the wind would sing of my fortunes to spark a flame of ambition in the meek. Many upstart heroes sought my capture, chasing after my glory. But I rail in the arms of Providence, the wind in my wings. I pray the same for you. Knowest thee of my... I am but okay. a thief. That's, that's the extent of the Vati lore drop. Hang on, where's my... Let's see, where's the... Do I not have the soapstone? Ah, there we go. Hang on, could this be a... Um... Spells? No. <laughs> Hmm. Uh. Why are these not in like alphabetical order? Who decided on what order these things should be? Maybe they are in like some sort of order in like the Japanese version and then they didn't put them in any kind of order. Uh, I was looking for, like, Scholar. <laughs> but Master. The lower Master. Okay, moving on. Where the hell am I? Oh, okay. He didn't take us very far. Is that... Okay, that's just a sad old man. Well, we found what happened to Ornstein. Uh, ring ahead? There, there, I didn't find a ring there. It's a cool scenery, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Let me, uh... For potential thumbnail uses, let me just, uh... Get some, uh, get some, like, zoom in here. Except, I turned off the HUD, but it's still keeping my icons there for, like, my buffs and stuff, which is not ideal. Just 
give me some options here. I don't, this probably isn't the best view to use, especially since this wall is just going to be in the middle of it. But, you know, I can still maybe pull a frame from this. Okay. Wait. Turn the HUD back on. Oh, yeah, I can buy the horn now. Ah, I'm still here. Eager emissary. You do have a quest. <laughs> I don't think Vati quite has the, um... The, uh... The Dark Souls maniacal laugh down. These souls will be put to good use. They fucking better be, Vati. Of course. <laughs> But that's just how Garakul says goodbye. Don't don't think anything of it. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> Not entirely sure what was going on there, but uh, all right. <laughs> So I kind of have a feeling that if I blow use that horn that I just bought, it's going to be a boss fight. Because that is one thing that, uh, based on something kind of boilery that I saw in a thumbnail at one point. Damn it. Fuck out of here, bird. Oh god, it did the Elden Ring thing where a message pops up and then you can't take any other actions. I mean, you have a point. I did. I am like right at a bonfire. Sure. Nothing happened. Do I like have to use it? Said something about while you're in view of the phoenix tower so maybe i like actually have to be like here okay well i got a message about it the, the warmth or whatever while well, i was over here Oh, well, there we go. Now something happened. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Will that stay there? Like, can I warp to... Because the other bonfire would be much more convenient if that happens to be a boss fight. So then I wouldn't have to run past a whole bunch of enemies. I'm gonna see if I can just if it's it'll if it'll still be there after I warp. Cause I do remember when I went over to that spot that I just fell down in. It sure as hell looked like a boss arena, but there there was a somewhat strong enemy there, but. It wasn't a boss. Ow. Okay, that was a bit lucky. Stop it. Just in case. Okay, 
Okay, well, I think that confirmed my suspicions. Not you! My worst enemy! The Sanctuary Guardian has appeared! Now with fire! Okay, it's pretty healthy. Oh, okay. <sighs> of all the enemy, well, there. Uh, okay, we were just talking about Dark Souls One. There's your Dark Souls One. It is pretty cool. Pretty cool looking design. Okay, now that I know what I'm dealing with, maybe I'll not die as quickly this time. Shut up. Now, what would really put this over the top is if they had somehow, ow, if they had somehow, uh, brought back tail cuts, and you could, like, get this thing's tail, like you can in the actual Sanctuary Guardian fight. Wow, it is kind of like a lock-on monster here, because it just... Anytime it moves, it kills the lock-on. God damn it. Coracle, could you please actually hit the boss? Coracle, please actually hit the boss! How am I missing? Real. It does feel like it's probably like a ow. It does feel like it's probably a bit quicker, which I mean makes sense considering the difference in combat speeds between DS3 and DS1. Wow, I, that was like a perfect roll catch there. Because I needed to iframe through the fire, the, the like fire columns. Oh, uh, it did the triple. Uh, and before I could even get out of the animation for dodging the fire columns, it was already pouncing on me and had hit me with the, the, uh, the fire breath. It was like perfect timing all around. It also, so like, the Sanctuary Guardian already is like a pretty aggressive boss, especially by like, DS1 standards. It feels like they've upped the aggression even more. God damn it.
Wow, I, I just can't get any hits in because every time I hit R1, it ju jumps away. Okay, well, I got a hit in there, but I kind of paid for it. And it happened again. Fuck! That happened last time, too. Oh, god damn it. So every time it does the flame pill pillar crawl thing, it always follow seems to always follow up with the pounce fire breath. But it seems like the timing is very tight. It just it's it feels like like in that case there when it got me, it didn't really feel like it was possible to like avoid both. Feels like you kind of have to sometimes decide if you want to get hit by the fire breath or the flame pillars. Aha! In the head! Okay, that- never mind, that time it didn't jump and fire breath. <laughs> okay, it's getting a little confused here. Alright, that time it did jump and fire- ow! God damn it. Okay, not entirely sure how I strafed the tail attack, but I'm alright with that. <laughs> Fuck! Not again! Okay, so it does- se it seems like it's kind of a... If you're far away when it does the, uh, fire breath pillars... That's the circumstances where you don't have enough time to then avoid the, uh, the counts and fire breath. Fuck. Ow. Either that, or you just have to, like, kind of try to dodge a bit early. Uh, okay. It's just gone now. Hello? Um. Okay, so, uh, it's used an artillery attack here. That seems a little unfair. I, I, I don't have any siege weapons. Alright, so I, I definitely hit phase two here. I'm gonna get hit by like all of these fireballs because I decided to heal. Okay, except when when do I get to get a hit in? What the f hell was- uh, okay, I'm dead.
But I think there's probably a pretty good idea, good reason why you don't recognize the OST because I think like all of the music has been uh, is now just like its own original to this mod. <clears throat> All right then. Uh, fuck you. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go rest again. All right, so phase two is definitely something to keep an eye out for. Um, not a hundred percent sure what to do about the artillery attack. Yeah, I was also a few of the, at least like conceptually, the flying away attack did uh, give me some Placidus Axe vibes. Fuck! I'm gonna eat this. Yep. You know, this might be another one kind of similar to the the Necromancer guy, where I might have a bit better time like, actually hitting the boss uh, if I use my slightly faster greatsword. Okay, I don't remember it ever doing that before. You know, it, it kind of felt like it had stopped moving when it when it hit me there, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> I uh, you know what I am actually gonna try that out uh, after I get rid of this guy who's gonna try to blow me up. So you can't mess with me while I'm uh, messing with my equipment. I think I am gonna try. Where is my great sword? There you are. Do I have any more large titanite shards? No. I can take that off because there's absolutely no way that I can parry this boss. Um, and then I can put on some slightly chunkier armor. All right, let's uh, give this a try. Nope, it got a little confused there. Ah, see there, now I have, when it briefly pauses... Fuck. When it briefly pauses, when it's doing its, like, headbutt... slap... combo... I do now have enough time to get an attack in and still dodge the, uh, fuck. And still dodge the tail swipe. Well, this is not going very well. But that said, this is not doing very much damage.
I should have known that it was gonna just kick me in the face. This is really not going well. That was really fast. You know, I might want to, like, invest in some stamina. It's kind of just uh, happened to occur to me that, uh... I sure do go through my stamina bar pretty goddamn fast. Okay, now artillery time, right? Actually, I think it might be that the first attacks... The first hits are close to the gate, and then they get farther away as they go. I did avoid all of the artillery that time around. Uh. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Ha ha, I saw three of your tricks that time. I didn't, you didn't kick me in the face then. Ow. I forgot that it could throw a fire like that. All right then. Well, I. I wasn't expecting more fire to... Uh, I thought I was kind of in the clear after I dodged the first round of fire. But then it uh, conveniently had a second fireball just a bit in front of the one that I had just dodged. Um, well, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. And then we'll come back and try some more at this guy. It could be that uh, this is meant to be like uh, more of like a challenge like later on so it could be that it makes sense to like come back around to this guy later on but I'll be right back. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Alright. Uh, you know what? I think it might also be sandwich time. But yeah, so, like... I might want to try locking on again. 
Like, the reason I wasn't locking on was because it kept breaking lock on, like, any time it really moved. But, especially in the second phase, um... Well, it maybe it will just keep breaking lock on, but... It is moving around so much that I am kind of, like, missing attacks, uh... That it's doing, because there's, like, it, like flies off somewhere and then shoots fire at me. Um, and I can't really see it very well. <laughs> But I mean, also, Sanctuary Guardian DS1, I usually fight not locked on. But that's more so because of uh, DS1's funky four directional rolling when you're locked onto an enemy. Like, I, I kind of feel like specifically what would be maybe nice to, like, do a bit of before continuing to fight this guy is, um, would be kind of nice to have some more health upgrade, uh, healing upgrades, because it takes, like, three goddamn at Not sure how I ended up airborne there. It takes, like, three sips to fully heal me. God damn it, I thought it was doing the, the the one where it spits out three smaller versions of that and not that version of it. So for dodging the, uh, when it pounces on you with the fire breath, after the flame column spit, god damn it, uh, does seem like if you just kind of dodge to the left to avoid the columns, ah cool, we're already phase two, uh, that also just avoids the, uh, the follow-up pounce. Okay, waiting by the door does seem to kind of reliably avoid the artillery. Although I'm not entirely convinced that. God damn it. I'm not entirely convinced that. It's not. There isn't like some randomness to. Where they land. God. Where the fuck are you? So what happened there was, uh, it jumped away, broke lock on, jumped away again, I was trying to find it and accidentally clicked my right stick while moving the camera, which flipped it back around, and then I started doing an attack I couldn't see. Oh yeah, happy Easter by the way. Okay, I think I'm gonna just see what else is around and come back to this. So it would be very nice to get 
a bit more a bit better at heals before coming back here. Cause I think I was wrong and in fact it's like four heals to fully heal me at this point. Which is not good. No. Well, and actually, I was thinking of, like, holidays, uh, well, it's not really a holiday, but I didn't really mention anything about it, but this is also actually kind of like the, uh, two-year anniversary of, <clears throat> uh, the two-year anniversary of my channel. I just didn't really advertise it or anything. Like, I mean, technically it's tomorrow, which, you know, April 1st, definitely a great day to have the uh, anniversary of your, for your channel. You know, it's a completely 100% serious day. But, uh, I guess I didn't feel like making any kind of like deal out of it compared to last year. You know, it's like last year when I hit one year, I was on like a big upswing because I was like right around when the Oops All Bone Wheels video took off. I, I don't know. It's, this year, everything feels like it's kind of falling apart recently. <laughs> Stop that. No boss. Ow. Is the asshole cleric lady gonna be up here? Nope. Ow. That was an unintentional perfect block there, but I'll take it. Huh? Bonfire's gone too. Also, this is a, just like a completely new path here that's not even in Dark Souls 2. Don't throw things at me. I mean, I guess if I, like, put any kind of real emphasis on, uh, on my defense, then, you know, maybe I could say that I've become a wall. Although walls are not very well known for, like, DPS. So I feel like that wouldn't work out very well for me. Oh god, I'm, I'm being assaulted. Ah, uh, god damn it, you of course you had to summon a stupid fucking bird. These are even worse in this game because you don't even have jump attacks to try to like get up to them when they do shit like that. Yeah, go away. You fucking winged rat.
Just, <laughs> I just realized it's... If I, I won't even have to like make a new image if I want to put a wing for a, put a visual of a ring, winged rat in uh, the edited version of this. I already have one of those made. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I think that was from like the first part of the Elden Ring RL1 run. Due to some. Birds in Stormvale or something like that. <laughs> what do you got for me? Blue bug pellet. Hmm. Wow, that's quite the water flow in that little basin there. <laughs> where, where is that? This appears to be defying the laws of physics. As far as where the water is coming from and where it's going. <laughs> I, I don't think that that's how that works. Where the hell am I? Oh wait, am I like in the tower? Painting guardian. He healed. Wow, this guy's kind of annoying. What the f ah. Stop it. Get out of here, you dick. Lunar Cocoon. Oh. Hello, going up here. Oh. Well, that's kind of fitting. Yo, Benton. Thank you so much for the, the gifted... Uh, I was about to say sub, but uh, that that is a Twitch thing. Which would be a weird... Weird reflex, reflexive... Reaction there, considering uh, I, I don't stream to Twitch. But uh, yeah, Mayo Tang, enjoy the bronze bone wheel. Who the hell are these people? Wait a minute. The uh, head ornament kind of looks like. Uh, it was the, the, uh, the daughter of Gwyn that, uh, has the egg in the DLC. But I could be just completely misremembering things. Hmm. Wow, this level's pretty big. <laughs> Did I miss anything back here? Okay, right. Oh, yeah, there was this... Is this another player? I would assume not. Sure? Well, I found Kirk. Also, he's one of the uh, the Grave Warden guys from Helen Ring.
Yet another prisoner. Now with the. Uh, what even are those things? They're like weird maces. All right, well, I helped that person out. Don't know what that did in terms of, like, quests or anything, but, uh... I don't, like, I've never met that person that I just helped out. Wait, is that...? Huh. It's Ornstein, without his helmet on. Let's, uh, let's get a zoom in here. Oh my god, he's hot. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he is sort of like lore wise, like the more or less like the embodiment of like the ideal knight. And I guess in like fantasy stuff, the ideal knights are always like, oh, okay. Oh, am I going to get shot by artillery? Nope! Woo guy! Oh, he's just dead. Ah. I thought there was a wall there. I don't even have the ability to do the real power move from Sekiro, which is the... Uh, when the Wu guys swoop down at you and you just fucking deflect them. But I don't think it would work out as well in this if I tried to perfect block it. Hang on. What's this? Sure. I have no idea who that is, but sure. I'm sure absolutely nothing bad will happen when I finish what I'm doing with this dude and uh, get worked back to this area. You no, don't hit. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, it's the. Uh, Nox priestess weapon. The uh the whip sword. Ow. At least I think that's what it is. No. Man, this dude, this dude's got like the five mile stare here. He has seen things. <laughs> I don't know what that dude's past is, but he is. Uh, he has experienced some sort of horrors. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what I'm accomplishing with, uh, doing these summons. Or if I've, like, missed other ones somewhere. But, still neat. Shit.
<laughs> nope. Okay, which of the dudes that surprise attacked me here? Hold in the bird. So I'm gonna kill that one first. Where? Where the hell were you? Okay, the bird wasn't that much of an issue this time around. Right, I have no idea. Was he like on top of the statue there? I have no idea where he just came from. Also, I never went this way. There's a bonfire here. I... I just did that entire run back for nothing. There was a bonfire here the entire time. Hello. Are you Cirrus? You at least have Cirrus's armor, I think. These people don't look very happy. Oh, it's the, uh, the people that I just helped out. Whoa. That's a pretty fucking cool design. Again, thank you for your assistance against that fiend. Since the invasion, trespassing spirits are on the rise. A strong combatant like yourself is a welcome face. <laughs> just like I said, I do not know what tragedies this man has experienced. <laughs> He's just been through some shit. Welcome, emissary. We have met once before. They hold thy own in combat well. I am Jessa, Warden of the Holy Jail, the Pit of Sinners. Be wary of these parts. An apostate usurper resides above, and his warmongers skulk every corner of our city. Thy Firekeeper has high hopes for thee. Do not disappoint. My gratitude is thine. He doesn't have a very trustworthy voice. Allow me to speak of the dangers at hand. The city of the gods is no longer ours. A false deity, the so-called god of war, resideth far above in ancient and Orlando. Kratos? The path forward shall be arduous. For thy sake, Wouldst thou answer to his highness, Prince Quayla? Sir Florian shall lead thee onward. Well, I think that's the, the dead inside guy. Are you the new emissary? Your firekeeper's quite tenacious. Good. I am Sir Florian, captain of the Blue Sentinels, and knight of Prince Quayla, god of dream. A pretender! Has stolen the throne above. Yet I am duly bound to defend my slumbering prince. Oh, emissary of embers, a great soul awaits you above. A wicked soul to light the thrones. Tis yours to claim alone. Okay. Ah, thank you, emissary of embers. We are capable on our own. For your assistance is a good omen. Finally, we can cleanse the pit of sinners. It set our kinsmen free. Emissary, do you seek to enter the kingdom of the gods? Tis an arduous path. It would do well to prove thy strength here and now. Would you take up arms and prove thy worth in combat? Uh, sure. Every knight must face our trial, or combat in the view of our lord Quayla, god of dream. Fall in the footsteps of our fellows. And lie in the shadow of Quayla, where you will be embraced by his dream. Well, 
Carry on, emissary. Only by. St so this is a, a dude. All right. I'm getting some uh, Gwendolyn vibes, if you know what I mean. But I would laugh my ass off if there's a, a Kratos cameo. But I'm pretty sure they're probably talking about the Nameless King. Face adversity, and prove thy worth to Quayla, god of dream. Oh, you're both coming at this? Okay. Aren't you supposed to be, like, chivalrous knights? I thought that called for, like, respectful one-on-one -on -one combat. What the hell, man? <laughs> the double pancake. <laughs> Face my wrath, you dickheads! Ha! <laughs> oh, you're not dead. Uh. My will is strong. Is it strong enough? To link the fire. Hell yeah, I win. Arise, O oh emissary of embers. Hearest thou not? Fate calleth out thy name. It's a really cool design, though. Emissary Vembers, you have overcome great odds. Really? You, got, you guys weren't very strong. The blue? Sure. Very well, then. So shall it be. That thou shalt swear by the covenant to share in the dream of Krayla and become a guardian of the meek and wanting. Etch upon thy heart this oath. And thou shalt rally thy spirit to answer the prayers of the weak. Does Quella have any relation to Quelag? Serve the justice of the moon. Be proud. I, Knight Florian, do it proclaim. Thou art now a knight of the blue. Thou as may call thyself one of us, may plant thy roots in this garden of the gods. Oh yeah. Grarkle has ascended to Sir Grarkle. Knight of the Blue. Welcome, fellow knights. Okay. Farewell. Oh. Hello, Guinevere. Ah. I'm sure they won't mind if I just rob them a bit. You know, I should check what these things do that I keep picking up. Gradually restores FP. Okay. Let's quick rest and then try not to get launched off a cliff by a woo guy again. I think I, uh, yeah, of course I've been over there because that's how you progress through the uh, the level. I'm now wondering if they're actually going to have this like so like this is supposed to be hooking up to Ann Orlando from what they were saying from what the night guy was saying. Um, oh my god, we just die already. But uh, I wonder if. That entire path will be in the demo. Except so, uh, it would be a pretty long level, I would suspect. Like, I think that mountain there is probably in Orlando, if I had to guess. Okay, this time, just run through and don't get Wu guide. Ooh. 
Okay. Nice bone wheel shield, my man. Oh man. He dropped something and for a split second there, I I got my hopes up that I would get myself a bone wheel shield. But it was not to be. Oh, it's the uh dummy mommies from Bloodborne. Nightmare of Mensis. Or at least they give the at least that enemy gave those vibes. Sending bitrate again. What the fuck happened? Okay. My preview I have on my other... On, on the side... Is showing... Shit again. Uh, well... Fuck. That's awkward. Yeah, let me turn on my fan. It's getting really warm in here. Oh. I did not get the bone wheel shield. It would be cool if I did. But I didn't. Who's trying to shoot me? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what happened there. I think we have to blame that. Uh, I think we get to blame that one on Spectrum being an asshole. Okay. Well, I know that I know that this is from the profane capital. This little room here. Ah! Well, the one the one thing I can't think of is that there have been, I think, some thunderstorms in the area today. Ah! I don't know if that, like... Stop it. I don't know if something got messed up because of those. But it, it doesn't look like it's raining anymore outside, so... I don't know. Also, occasionally my Wi-Fi just, just does die for like a minute or two. Just kind of unfortunate that it had to happen. If that's what it was, it's kind of unfortunate that it had to happen while I was trying to stream. Hmm. Okay. Further evidence that I need to finally get on switching internet providers. So that might help things. Because it's a... Uh, a fiber optic internet provider in my area that I'm thinking I'm going to be switching to. I need to get on that. Because then I should actually also have... Ah, fuck! I knew I shouldn't have trusted... As soon as I hit the button to interact with that chest, I was like, huh. The chain is inside the ground. I should have known better. Nice miss, Grockle. Fuck you, Mimic. You asshole. Did it not drop me anything? Oh, those are some sturdy shelves. <laughs> but another advantage, if I, when I get around to switching internet providers, will be. Oh, I thought maybe it fell through the floor, but no, no that was just a mimic that did not have an item. Strange. That's uh, kind of unkind of you, Arch Thrones. Why would you do such a thing? What was the point of that room? There was a bow and some arrows. And a mimic that had no item. But anyway, the, uh, yeah, the other, uh... Advantage to... Switching internet would be, um... Then I would probably have... 
the uh, bandwidth to be able to start doing dual streams to both YouTube and Twitch. So I can finally, because uh, that's something that I've wanted to kind of try out. Wait, hang on. I just realized something. If we're going to Anor Londo right now, and this is the mountain to Anor Londo, are we about to head into Sens? Or like a version of Sens? Although, I mean, really, I guess that wouldn't entirely geographically make sense because we're all the way at the like wolf to Anderlando, so we should have already hit, we would have already hit the Iron Golem. Okay, whatever, I don't know what the geography of the maps are now. Hmm, could this be a boss? Yes. It's an owl! Ow. Wow, the frame rate is not happy right now. Still does the heal bombs. Okay, so it's owl. It's a uh, rooftop owl, and not Hirata owl. At least for now. Not the uh, ah. That was the rooftop Ishin move there. Ow. Ah. That was the God Skin Apostle move. Oh, there's another owl move. Ah. Okay, that was the in place of the firecrackers. Fuck. You know, that one note outside said try parrying, which I can- Ah! The delays! And I'm not sure if that was just a reference to this being Owl- Fuck! Or if that was, like, actually, you can parry this guy. Yeah, that was a bad time to try to heal. But it is actually kind of a mix of Father Owl and uh, Rooftop Owl. Because Rooftop Owl doesn't do the the, uh, the Shadow Brush or whatever it's called. Okay, well, now I'm curious. Let's see if he's actually parryable. This is terrible positioning. Help. 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 Ah, oh, my heels are blocked now. Okay, it's the Elden Ring double parry. 
But indeed, he is still par- Ow. Indeed, he is parryable. Ah, uh, my heels are still blocked. Shit. Oh, right after I got hit, my heels became fucked. Unblocked. You know, I, I really hope that there is not an enemy that pulls a waterfowl, but it uh, wouldn't surprise me. Then again, I have recently, I think, gotten a bit better with actually avoiding that in what I would say is kind of like the proper way where you like... It's like, for a long time... Well, it's still like the only really reliable way I know of. God damn it. Um, I keep trying to parry the kick. I don't think that the kick is parryable. What the fuck was that? I, I did it again! It's so weird, like, dodging for this set. This feels wrong. I think what's happening here is, uh... I'm parrying based on Sekiro deflect timing, which isn't going to work here. Because while the buckler does have the fewest startup frames, it still does have startup frames. So I think I'm going to have to do away with the parrying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're definitely right that, like, kind of the most reliable way of avoiding waterfowl is, like, just getting away, obviously, but, uh... Yeah, it is really hard to tell sometimes. Shit! I think I need to dodge back for the first, uh, like, knife throw or whatever he throws at you. Um... So otherwise, you don't have enough time to dodge the follow-up. Which, uh, I didn't do there, but it actually ended up working out. But I have been... At least, uh, like... I've at least played around a bit with, um... Finally getting ah! the hang of like up close dodges for waterfowl. What I call the circle strat. Where she where you, you know like she goes up for the waterfowl and then you sprint in like a little a small circle around her and it kind of confuses the uh, targeting. I did have some mild success with it. I can't remember if I got, like, a... Fuck. I can't remember if I had, like, a perfect, like, 
no damage taken up close. Waterfowl dodge, but definitely had some that were just like a couple here and there. She just gave me a little tickle with the waterfowl. Which, I mean, even in and of itself is much better than my previous method of like shield tanking the entire first flurry of it. God damn it, there's such a big delay on that. Although one thing I would like to be able to learn how to do, like, consistently, is, uh... Sometimes, if she's, like, being passive and just kind of, like, pacing around, if you chuck, like, a throwing knife or something at her, she'll just pop into Waterfowl, and then won't do it again for a little while, because there's, like, a cooldown on it, I think. Um... But I want to get a bit better at, like, figuring out what the, like, actual clue is for knowing that it's going to work. So it feels like most of the time when I try to do that... What the hell? She just kind of jumps out of the way. Ah! Fuck. Fuck. Go, oh, come on. You asshole. What? Okay, you know what? It, that is actually, like, the moveset for that... Like, a follow-up for that attack. What's fucking up with me is the fact that I'm used to, uh, you know, the normal owl fight where you usually carry that shadow rush, and then he doesn't do the follow-up. Oh, he was still going. combo is uh, hard to avoid for me, at least. Unless I'm really far away. Oh shit, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, apparently, it would seem that it was a bad idea to just face tank and uh, trade blows with him there. Yeah, you're right, that is kind of like... Ah, uh, god damn it. He blocked my heels. That is kind of like the most consistent one to try to get a throwing knife in on. But I've definitely seen... other more skilled players fighting her where they can like consistently... do the... like chuck a throwing knife at her and get her to waterfowl. 
Ah. Yeah, that delayed spin attack. I, I don't know if it is actually the God Skin Apostle. I can't place where it's from. I had an opening there for a crit, but I'd already queued the next attack. Really? Okay, well. Okay, you went down pretty easy that time. <laughs> Nightblade's Kindling. Soul of the Disgraced Knight. Hmm. I'm suspicious that that is... That, that door back there is the continuation of the level and that these statues have been placed here to uh, prevent you from getting there. Locked. Oh, there's another fog wall. Oh, <laughs> I think I was onto something. This might be the end of the level. For now. Locked. Yeah, I, I can see what they were onto here. Uh, but they didn't have the Elden Ring. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. By the way, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Everybody's favorite messages. Yeah, it's either Sanctuary Guardian now, or Elaine Lois. Unless Sanctuary Guardian opens up those fog walls, but I kind of uh, have a feeling that that is, that's just the end of what's playable in the demo. The thing is, I don't feel like I really have gotten much stronger since I was initially fighting Sanctuary Guardian. So I kind of feel like it won't really go much better. So re I was really hoping that I'd find like a healing upgrade or something. Okay, well, I should check. I, I have some like souls and stuff to... I should at least see what I can get. Serpentine Great Sword. Faith and Dex! Well, I'll at least buy it. Pretty. Strength build is not feeling the love here, as far as uh, boss weapons go. Um. What upgrade mats do I have? Eh. Uh, what, do I have any other weapons that might look interesting that I want to try out? Specifically, like, one that looks like it might be, uh... Twinklies? I 
Yeah, I'm really not feeling the love for strength builds here. I mean, this is a strength weapon, but that's also just like regular Titanite and just a weapon from the normal Dark Souls 3. Maybe there's something in Olea Moist that'll cater to my particular desires. And touch the darkness with the Make that a nice 30. Nope, that's the one I just came from. Alright. If I remember correctly, the last time we were in Olea Moist, we were trying to help out, uh, not Tarkus, uh, Sorig. We were trying to help out Sorig, but kept getting two shot by, um, the, uh, not corrupted monk, but definitely the corrupted monk. So let's, let's see if we maybe have a bit better time getting Sorig a hand now. At least I should probably not get two shot anymore. Because I feel like I've definitely upgraded health quite a bit since the last time we were here. Yeah, sorry, not having heals was definitely not helping. Damn it. Couldn't get the crit. I think that's the other thing is slightly messing- fuck. That's like slightly messing with me with some of the... Sekiro bosses is that their movesets, at least in the case of uh, the Corrupted Monk here, ow, seem to be slowed down quite a bit. So it kind of throws the muscle memory off. Which I mean, you know. Kind of had to be probably slowed down a bit. Wow, he's just gonna die, isn't he? He actually survived. I'm proud of you, Sorig. Now don't die here! God! Fucking Sorig. Where are you going? <laughs> I'll enjoy watching the snow of this land shrivel up your disgusting body, you wretched hag. I feel like you were You're still alive. talking to me, but you were kind of walking away, so uh, kind of rude. I took this job long ago because Kreml demanded it from me. Yet. The secret down below. Liam Lois had already smothered one flame in ice, but a flame of sin has emerged. Kreml's gone mad with it. Then they thought they could hide it all from me. <sighs> Let's put the ghoul to struggle out of his misery, eh? Sure. some kind of awkward eye contact here while I'm waiting to go back to my world. <laughs> Alright, now how bad is this fight one-on-one? -on -one?
Ow. Nice. Should be time for her to summon. Oh, nice, I can get it. one more charged R2 in there. Walk. Oh, it hits. That's. I forgot about that, that it can hit you even when you're on the ground. Was not expecting that. Okay. Uh. All right. Wasn't expecting the ice explosion, and then kind of got comboed into the uh, into the Gundir charge. One hundred percent doable, though. Still, do, still does quite a bit of damage, however. Alright, let's go again, Genera One Eye. Okay, there was not an opening there. Wow, the reach. Nice. Honestly, it might have been worth taking a, a nasty sip there. Shit, I was out of stamina and she like just barely got out of there. Shit! Please stop doing AoEs. Ah, uh, yeah, I should not have an attack there because I was out of stamina. No, not again! Fuck! Ah, oh, man, she's get really roll catching me. And then hit me with the double ice. That would be kind of funny if, you, if that was instead of the the moss that hears frostbite, if you could just like you just had like a thermos of uh, of hot cocoa hanging on your hip. <laughs>
Ow. Nice miss. That is definitely the drawback to this weapon. Even in the Elden Ring version, is the uh, the the rolling attack is pretty bad. Okay, I really missed out on the crit there. Fuck. It has like no reach. Because, you know, instead of using an axe the way you're kind of intended to, where you hit something with, like, the sharp bit of the axe, you, like, use the top of it. Although, I guess in this particular model, it makes a bit more sense since, uh... Since this one does actually kind of have a spike on the top of it. God damn it, I forgot about that attack. No, those little ice trees don't have. Walk! Don't have uh, collision. What is the... I don't know what the radius is of that. No, not again! Fuck you! Okay, then. Yeah, that that is that's what's missing here is uh, getting out of the second phase where it, where the the phantoms get summoned by uh, jumping onto a convenient tree branch and getting a death blow. What got me that that attempt was that she just kind of kept doing AoEs. And I it was having a lot of trouble actually hitting her after she got to phase two. Like, she was really AoE happy. Didn't have enough time to get an attack in there? The fuck was that? Okay, I thought she was gonna go for the overhead slam there, but she didn't. Wow, I still got hit? Fuck me. Hey, it got me again. I thought she was going to go for the overhead slam, which is very quick. But then she didn't, so I got roll caught instead. I didn't have time to get an attack in? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I'm out of heals. And also have not, uh, apparently have lost the ability to uh, avoid attacks from this boss. Yeah. I don't know why this happens to me sometimes when I'm fighting bosses, where, uh... I just can no longer fight the urge to, like... ...dodge things way too early. I don't know what the hell my problem is. 
But I'm gonna try the clicker sword. So multiple times in that attempt where I got an attack in and it must have been at the very, very end of the recovery frames, but still couldn't dodge and ended up take, eating a hit. That was supposed to be a, a dodge in, but all right. Fuck. We're at about the f fourth follow up. Okay, that was very lucky. I started doing the charge attack because I thought she was at the health level to do this. I wanted to capitalize on it. Fuck! Uh, yeah, I wanted to capitalize on her doing the summon. Uh, I don't know why I bothered to pick up the zero souls there. It was a very lucky guard break. Things are kind of going well, and she has to pull on an attack I've never seen before. Oh, great. One thing I can say is it does seem like they... ...did this summon attack in such a way that they're always summoned, like, in view of the camera. Like, either I'm getting lucky, or they intentionally coded it so that they always show up in camera. <laughs> okay, I spoke too soon because that one was definitely not in camera. Yes! There we go. I was trying to... I, I was considering running away and, um... Hmm. Least Rampart Key, Soul of Oracle, Janara. Oracle's Kindling, Janara's Eye. Oh, she only had the one eye left and I just stole it. <laughs> uh, I, I was thinking about running away and using it, trying to use an Ember there, but... Ended up working out anyway. Uh, so what's this? Solitary eyeball of the witch Janara. Key to the walls that surround the Lamb Lois. Hmm. Okay. Right, I think there was like a left turn to get to that boss fight, and then there was a right turn. I should probably go to the bonfire, actually. So I'm at, uh, like, half health, and I don't have any heals left. Um. Yeah, I think 
if I like kept going straight down the path there, there was a locked door. And I would assume that that's where that key is for. So what are these kindling things that I keep getting? Because they're in key items. Oh, there. Cover HP upon defeating foes, increased item discovery, and increased soul gain while embered. Where do I equip these? Attacking a phantom skeleton appears, plus increased cast speed while embered. Recovered, recover FP with successive attacks, increased max FP when embered. Increased absorption and resistances while embered. Yeah, so these seem to be kind of like great runes in Elden Ring. Do I like equip those at a bonfire? I completely forgot that those even existed. Oh god. Let me see if that's how you use them. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how many... I, I feel like they said... In the, uh... Like, I was reading through their press kit, and I think that said that there was, um... Do I just equip the kindling things from the inventory? Oh, yes I do. Uh, but I think that might have said that there were, like... Eventually, there would be five levels per arch throne in the full release. <clears throat> Let's see, when attacking, a phantom skeleton appears, plus, uh, which one was I gonna... I feel like I'm gonna go with that one. And also, actually, I'm gonna take a trip back to Nexus of Embers, um, because I forgot that I have like an ass load of poppable souls right now, and um, not all of them can be turned into weapons. So I'm gonna anything that can be turned into a weapon, I'm gonna turn into a weapon, but the other ones I am just gonna pop and uh. Of course, it has an int and faith requirement, but otherwise is actually kind of a strength weapon. Um, let's go back to the axe. Wait, hang on, I forgot to- I forgot the part where, uh, I wanted to pop all of the souls. <laughs> you know, I just realized we just- we, we killed Aldrich? So I, I'm not entirely sure how that works, because like, I think this is supposed to, like, fit within the existing canon of uh, Dark Souls, but how, how does that work if he's already been killed? Whoops, I think I just used a single one when I wanted to use two. Does he just get resurrected again? For the, by the time of Dark Souls 3? Get some endurance, actually. Um, no, I'm going to the wrong place. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one.
All right, let's see what else is in Olay and Lois here. But yeah, th this is like way more content than I was than I was expecting from the from the demo. That. Wow, you are really quick. Okay, that's supposed to be a counter, but okay, it worked. Wait, is it not? Oh, yeah, there was a lever pull. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just deleted her out of existence. <laughs> Get out of here. So like a special silver knight, it has like a it has like a fur for vein cinders. It has like not like a quite a cape, but like some fur decoration on it. What are these profaned cinder? Ah, oh, there's some boosts damage dealt and burns the user when mixed in a flask. Ah, so it's like power within. Ah, shit! There was a surprise we're at. Ow! The fuck just did that? Oh, hello. I'm kind of interested to know if, uh, so, like, this is supposed to be Irithyll and, um, I think the Hyde's Tower of Flame area, where it was also meant to be part of Irithyll. I'm interested to see if they, like, link up together somehow in the full version. That could be kind of cool. So, you know, we were, like, on our... Apparently, on our way to, uh... In Orlando there, and we're, you know, there's Silver Knights here. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Okay, good. I didn't die. Back here. Come on. Stop backing. Oh, my God, the back steps. I, I hate spear and shield enemies. You know, I know why this room feels familiar. I'm pretty sure this is. The, like, when you take the back way into Stormvale, except, like, mirrored. And with snipers. And no assholes trying to blow you up with oil barrels and fire pots. Uh, I don't know if that seam is supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is definitely like the Stormvale entrance. But mirrored. Oh, yeah, I think that's to, you, this is usually the door to that you need the uh, the, the key for. Where, uh, the... Why? Where, um... Gostok locks you in with the knight to try to kill you and rob you. I 
I'm hearing somebody. But where are you? Well, I found a rat. And that appears to be a mimic. Are you aggro? No? Okay. Can you, do you mind just standing there for a little bit while I kill this mimic? Nice miss, Grogle. That. Are you gonna drop me something? The last mimic I killed did not drop me any- Oh, that's just sort of nice. Goodbye. Okay, got another sniper. No, please leave me be until I killed an asshole with the bow. Okay, good. They didn't make that chest a mimic. That would have been slightly evil if they had made that chest a mimic. Because it would have been extremely easy to hit it by accident there. Okay, that doesn't look like it's safe ground. Ugh. Okay, I think that's usually the door. I forgot to loot the chest. Shit. Uh, I'll, I'll be. I'll get right back to you, Mr. Silver Knight. Okay, well, I guess not. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the destroyable chests were, were kind of evil, especially since, you know, that, that's a lot of people's, on their, uh, their first time through, that's their test for if something is a mimic. There isn't, like, a downward path here, is there? It would appear not. Now, I've been lied to previously in this mod by trying to use prism stones. Let's see. Okay. It did hit a solid surface, but it also gave, shrieked at me. I'm pretty confident that that will kill me. There's probably also just a straight-up death plane there. We appear to have entered the Irithyll dungeon. Are you gonna scream? Okay. But yeah, er earlier in the mod, I was 100% lied to by... by a prism stone, because I dropped it down a uh, ball in a room that looked very similar to a room from, like, the Bloodborne Chalice dungeons. And it hit where usually there is a drop down. And it hit and made the it's safe to fall here sound. Uh, and then I, I tried to drop down and hit a death, just hit a death plane. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now let's see what boss is here. I wonder how much more of this is left. Silver Knight, Captain Erden. The Antlered Silver Knight. Okay, that had way more of a delay on it than I was expecting. God! The roll catches! Fuck! He really did not want me to heal there. <laughs> it's like every single move had just a long enough of a delay to make you think you could heal. And that the combo was over. 
Okay, I can already tell that this boss is gonna play into like all of my worst tendencies. Fuck! God! God! See what I'm saying? God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> No, there was a follow-up. Shit. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I knew that the, uh, the kind of freak out slam. Yes, that was, yeah. That was rubber. Oh! It was kind of bugging me after he did that attack. I was like, I know I recognize that from somewhere. Yes, this is a, a lot of this. Now that I'm seeing... Now that you've said that, yeah, a lot of this is Armored Warrior. Fuck! And that's why I sometimes still have the issues when I play Armored Warrior because of all the weird ass delays. This this feels really strange. I'm going to experiment again with uh, the sword. This does seem to have just kind of turned into my boss weapon. Uh, I'm out of stamina. Fuck! Wow, he covers a lot of ground with that shove. Really? Well, my the amount of stamina would not have much of an effect 
if uh if i can't reliably dodge attacks i can have all the stamina in the world but if i can't like actually reliably avoid taking damage Wow, he covers a lot of ground with his attacks. Why, why did I attack there? Okay, he has hyper armor for that. <laughs> okay. I hadn't gotten a stagger before on him, so that's something. No, that wasn't a perfect block. Okay. Shit. Fuck! Okay, at least one of the, like, really weird attacks. I have finally gotten a good visual cue for how to avoid it. It's because there's, like, I uh, accept it there. Because there's like a, a secondary wind up after the attack starts. Fuck! Shit. Uh, that's the one that I said that I had learned how to dodge, and I've now fucked it up the last two times he's done it. There we go. Shit! Oh, I'm out of Estus. Well, that's not good. Fuck! Alright, you said the word- you said the word parry, and, uh, you, you set my mind off, uh, so... You know, if- now when I'm attempting to try to parry him, and, and it's not going well, I'm- it, this is... This is all on you, Plasma. I hope you're... I, I hope you can take responsibility for your actions when I spend the next... The next three hours trying to parry him. No, I'm just kidding. I, I would not spend that long. He is parryable! Damn it. Whoops. Damn it. Fuck. Ha ha ha.
Oh god, I see my stream preview on my other screen buffering. Okay, it came back. Good. Ah. I thought maybe my internet had died again. God damn it. I thought it was going to take me longer to get a heal animation. Fuck. <laughs> get parried. Fuck. Okay, now YouTube is saying something about not receiving enough data, so I think it might have, like, not completely died, like, earlier, but, like, partially died. Ah. You know, maybe I should switch away from parry mode since, um, I'm out of heals. And now one hit away from dying. Fuck! No! We'll get it this time. That that is a that is a dark photon guarantee. We'll get him this time. Why do I keep picking up these souls? There is literally nothing on this blood stain. Okay, I could barely even tell what he was doing there because he was in the shadows. know about that one okay I really missed an opportunity there oh my god that I I know what the tell is for that attack but I've just <sighs> Thank you. 
Okay, well, uh... I take back the Dark Photon guarantee that this was the, the one... Oh, god damn it, he wasn't staggered as long as I was expecting. Fuck! I'm gonna run away. Fuck. Oh. Hey, Tundra, how you doing? Oh, God. Ah! Ha ah ha! There we go. Well, with how the first, how the, the, the tent just before that one had gone, that, that was pretty decent. I just got a soul though. Maybe that looked like it is probably a strength weapon. So uh, maybe maybe we finally have something else to try out. Although that said, I don't really have very many. Titanite scales, so I won't really be able to upgrade it very much. God damn it! Come on! I I I think the mod creator creators uh, just have something against strength builds, like pure strength builds, uh, because. This is... This requires 20 decks. Although, I guess... Okay, I'm not too far off from that, but still. I think they have something against, like, pure strength builds. Is that... Silver Knight Sword also... Uh... Yeah, that's also Titan Knight Scales. be careful. Yeah, the, uh, the double repose at the beginning of that fight was pretty cool. And then I just had to, you know, had to, had to lapse into sucking at the fight for a little bit. You know, just to make things interesting. <laughs> it 
So what, what happened there was it wasn't the dark photon guarantee actually wasn't wrong. It was just it was a delayed activation. Okay, for for a split second there, I thought that this was gonna be uh, the end of the level, and they just had like a cliff here. But no, there are, there are stairs. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I know why you didn't uh, stagger the way that I was kind of expecting. It's because I don't have my fighting regular mobs weapon out. Oh, shit! Hello! Fuck! I'm fat rolling now. How rude of you. Uh, fuck. But yeah, yes, I am, in fact, wearing a Star Wars shirt. It's kind of old, and, or, well, I think it was kind of a cheap shirt or something. I don't know. I got it for Christmas one year. Yeah. But, like, the actual, like, design on it is, like, crumbling away to dust. Okay, now that I'm not fat rolling and I have my weapon out that I want, now we're gonna kick this guy's ass. There you go. Told you. It appears that we have entered the painted world. Although... Actually, I think this might be Road of... The Road of Sacrifices map. Ah, I thought you were gonna be dead. There we go. Ow, you're shooting me. Hello? Oh, it's you. Fuck. Ow. Knock that off. Asshole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the Road of Sacrifices map. Hmm. Oh, to you two. My, yeah, I was about to say my fellow wolves, but I, I am. Gorkle is by no. What the fuck? <laughs> Wolf just did a backflip. <laughs> I mean, I guess for all we know, Gorkle could be part wolf. Lucky flame blower and an asshole for lighting me on fire. Hmm. Uh, huh? How did you? I see. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> oh god damn it! I think my I, I think the stream might be trying to die again. Okay, I came back. All right, see you later, plasma. Enjoy dinner. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Fuck! Fuck!
Wait, I think it. I think the general map layout is the road of set. It feels like the road of sacrifices, but I think it might have some like. I mean, obviously, a lot of the enemies are from the painted world. Uh, a bit where you're like kicking down the trees, but I think it, it, like I think some of like the set dressing, like trees and stuff, are from there. You know, I expected him to kind of run after me and not just turtle up on, uh, behind his shield. Ah, ah. What did I just bonk off of? Wait. Did he? I don't think I went this way. It's over here. Uh, flower? Oh, no, no, hello, wolf. Where did you. Okay, goodbye, wolf. <laughs> Sight Night Shard? I feel like my damage has kind of like significantly dropped off. But there isn't like a huge amount I can do about it because I haven't like I haven't gotten any more Titanite scales for this weapon and I that's like the first large Titanite Shard that I've gotten in a while for my for my other sword. No. Okay, some frostbite moss. Shit, I forgot about that guy. I was just thinking there, but he hit me like right in the Achilles with his uh, with his spear. Javelin, whatever. Uh, I was thinking to myself, like, what do you, how do you think this game would be if they put, like, realist, semi realistic damage effects in? Like, an enemy shoots you in the ankle with something and it, like, slows your movement or something like that. I feel like that, that would be interesting and then get incredibly annoying after, like, too long. I, mean, I feel like it wouldn't take very long for it to get kind of annoying. <laughs> or, like, you get too, hit too much in your leg and it just, like, falls off or something and then you're just stuck in one place. Your arm comes off and then you can't wield a weapon anymore until like you visit a bonfire. <laughs> that would probably suck. Oh, I almost just wandered straight off the edge there. Except this might actually be, like, the way to go, maybe? There's an item there. Uh... So there's probably a path this way to get there. Die! Die! Maybe not. Maybe there isn't a path. Uh, I think it should be, like, around here, right? Huh. I don't know where that item is in relation to where I currently am, but it felt like it should have been, like, here. There was also an, uh, an enemy, like, overlooking it. 
that I haven't seen yet. Yeah, that's kind of like, that's kind of what I was thinking too, is that it, it could... Something like what I was talking about could be interesting for like a few minutes and then... Get incredibly annoying. Like, that kind of sounds like something that might be in, like, survival- like, I could see in, like, survival games or something, maybe? Since those are supposed to have a bit of, like, added realism. Usually. I think. I don't know. I don't really play survival games. For kind of the reason that, like- Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't just get the hunter set. Except- Uh... I mean, that's... The shape of it is kind of like the, uh, Bloodborne Hunter hat. Although it's also... I, I need to take it off so I'm not fat rolling. What's the... It does... It looks like it is kind of the Hunter... Like the Bloodborne Hunter set, but like sl modified a little. And it's kind of, it's actually a bit like he's got the scarf from Gas Coin. I think it's Bloodborne inspired, though. Why am I fat rolling? Oh, that's because my I am overburdened. That that would do it. Okay, I fixed the problem. I'm also slightly lost at the moment. I'm not en entirely sure where I am. Uh, I, can, I think this is the way I wanted to go. Point was ahead. What is it really? I mean, yeah, kind of. It, it was just just a a flower to give to the the fire keeper as a good little gift or something. Oh, bonfire. Oh, and some abyss watchers. Kind of a reused concept from Parthus, but also like lore-wise, similar to Carthus, kind of makes sense because yeah, you find the followers, the Farron followers in the painted world. Outrider Knight Sirius. Hmm. Although I think the lore with the out the followers in the painted world is that after the like after the uh I think it was like some something along the lines of like the abyss watchers linked the fire and then the followers didn't really know what the hell to do with themselves and then ended up in the painted world, so it wasn't that they were like actually following the Abyss Watchers to the Painted World. Oh, that's a summon help sign, not a help somebody else sign. Okay, no thank you. Well... 
Okay. That's an Abyss Watcher. With kicks. Ow. Ow. Who taught the Abyss Watchers karate? Well, that's a move from the kicking, speaking of kicking, the, uh, the, like, double slash with the dagger is kind of like the, uh, I think might actually just be one for one. The animation from the, uh, Sekiro kicking guys that have the Sabi Maru. Oh, come on. Okay, that was, that was kind of going for a perfect block there, but uh, it did not perfectly block. Ah, shit, I hear a wolf. Skull the wolf? Aren't you supposed to be, like, chasing after the moon? Or the sun? I think you're the one that chases the moon. Stop running away from me. Oh god. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting the sweep kick there. Ow. Uh, I think I'm just dead. Speaking of kicking guys, that, that was just the, the, the like end of their the kicking guy kick combo okay so it's grave tender champion grave tender and great wolf but the grave tender has been replaced by an abyss watcher who's also a kicking guy from Sekiro. <laughs> Uh, where was the boss? There it is. Oh, I just realized that the wolf's name is Skull, and this guy's name is Hati. So it, it is Skull and Hati, like, from- ah, fuck you. From mythology. Kind of, well, at least name wise. Fuck! My bad for uh, fuck. Oh, you still got okay. That was just the full kicking guy combo. Yeah, you might be onto something with uh, how passive the with how passive the abyss watcher was. Uh, I mean, do I do the usual play of switching back to my great sword? 
for the pass. Oh no. Interesting to give this enemy the um, kicking guy move set. Ow. I think that's one of the things that kind of messes with you in a mod like this is that, uh, you know, this is using like the model of a boss that you're used to. But then it has like different moves and stuff, and, it, and you just are not expecting it to throw something out. <clears throat> I think they might have taken away backstabs. Damn it! How dare you backstep away from me when I get a perfect flaw? Okay, here comes the wolf. Where? I, oh, there you are. Is it stuck? Okay, no, it's not stuck. Nice stagger. Ah, ah. What? Where are you going? Oh, uh, that might have been. Okay, they might. Ow. I'm wondering if they might have just like switched aggro there. And that's why it jumped away. Because now the uh, Abyss Watcher dude feels way more aggressive. Also, I got a bit lucky there because he had hyper armor for... Okay. I wasn't trying to hit the wolf. Fuck. Am I dead? Nope. Now I'm dead. Okay, that, that's interesting that I like I actually kind of like it that they've done it that way where they give you some time with the Abyss Watcher that has a different move set to kind of like let you at least this is my interpretation of what they've done. To like give you some time to like get used to the added moves and stuff, which I guess it, it hasn't been working for me. Uh but then when the wolf comes in Oh, the game just crashed. Shit. Uh, give me a second here. But anyway, but yeah, so that then, you know, like when the wolf comes in, it, it seems like they kind of like switch, ag they like go back and forth as far as which one's aggroed to you, which is an interesting way of doing things. Especially compared to, like, the usual fight, where... I mean, I guess in the usual fight... Champion's Grave Tender... He doesn't, like, completely... Lose aggro, but he gets, you know, he, like, kind of... Drops back a bit and starts using magic.
Okay. Come on. Please let me back into the game. Now it's the Abyss Watcher guy, Perio. Hmm. The fuck was going on there? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's a lot better than the Abyss Watch. The, not the Abyss Watch. The, it's a lot better than the God Skin Duo. But then again, many things are better than God Skin Duo. Uh, but it seems that this is a bit more like, uh, you know, how the Demon Princes work. Ah, he is parryable. <laughs> Whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, that was a much quicker follow-up than I was expecting. Ah, the partial parry. Fuck. Fuck. Please let me heal. Please. Please. Get you dick. Fuck. God. Just let me heal, damn it. Finally. Nice. This feels like it's not quite worth it uh, with how low my uh, with me being out of heals and almost well now down to half health about. Okay. Okay. Here comes the wolf. I hate when it does that, where it jumps off screen and then does the chart before it does the charge. I don't know if parries are actually the strat there, because uh, it was kind of working until it wasn't. Wow, it, it does not. Okay, it just crashed again. Although, given, uh, it kind of feels like the frame rate, even just like here, might be kind of not great. Is my PC doing something stupid in the background or something? I feel like it might be my PC and not entirely the mod. 
It's like just moving my cursor around the frame rate on it seemed like it was a bit lower than usual. Let me try turning up the cooling on my laptop. Uh, maybe it's slightly getting a little bit too warm. Although now there's going to be a very annoying high pitched sound. So I apologize for that. I don't know if that'll actually help or not. Hopefully it does. And it also looks like my internet died again. Fuck yeah. Perfect. Okay, it looks like it's back. What the hell is going on with this stream? Internet's dying on a regular basis. Game keeps crashing on me. I feel like I'm getting close to the end of the mod, though. Okay. I'm gonna stop going for parries. It's not working. I just need to hit it with my sword. Please don't crash again. can also go to some heavier armor. I think. I've definitely had... At least I thought I had like the full emissary set on with this great sword. The game crashed again. <sighs> yeah, I think this area is just a bit fucky. So it's fine while I was rearranging some of my equipment and then shat the bed again. Now, do we keep trying to push through here and then having to relaunch the game with and needing to relaunch the game every single time I want to do this boss? Or, uh... Do we go kill the phoenix and then call it? And, uh, just cut this part of the area as a loss. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a good point. I could go try out the the Phoenix again, just yeah, to see if it is the area or if it's my PC being stupid. So it would be kind of annoying because I feel like I said, I feel like I'm pretty close to being done with the mod. It'd be kind of annoying to like come back next week to resume it. And then there's only like an hour left and then I don't know what to do with the rest of the stream. So I feel like it would be a bit of work to uninstall this mod it's like otherwise i would say oh then i can finally finish uh what's left in the the uh the poke souls mod but that would be kind of tricky because i'd have to uninstall this 
and then reinstall the Poke Souls mod in like in the middle of the stream, and that wouldn't be very fun to watch. Uh, and the like the other option would be I have done routing for. Oh, I'm fat wrong. Oh, that's because I wasn't able to rearrange my armor again. Because the game crashed before I could finish rearranging my armor. But yeah, the, the other option there would have been, like, doing the... doing some attempts for... Dark Souls 3 Deathless, which I've done routing for, but haven't, like, started even practicing, really, yet. Uh, but that would also in need... Okay, something is just fucked right now. I uh, don't really know what to do. I, I don't know what's going on right now, and I don't know how to fix it or like figure out what's going on, going wrong. Hang on, let me see if is there just something like my is my PC just trying to do something really stupid in the background? I mean, OBS is obviously using quite a bit of resources. <sighs> okay, I, I legitimately am not entirely sure what what to do. Uh, hmm. Well, I could give my PC some time to, like, chill out by, uh, there, there, I could take a slight bit of a break, and, um, there was a, something that I just saw, um, from a, a, a Blopos video called Hurdle, which is, uh, like, Wordle, but with, um, from soft video game music we could give one of those a go and see if the pc just kind of like chill out a bit uh okay yeah so this is from soft ost hurdle um basically the way this works is it plays a little snippet of uh something from a from soft ost uh, and then you have to try to guess which OST it's from. So, uh, we could give this a good, and also it does kind of work like, I think it's based on Wordle, and I think in, like, Wordle, one of, one of the things with that is, like, it's a daily thing. Yeah, I, I, turning it off and on is definitely, like, the most logical thing to do, but that would also kill the stream. Uh... So I'm going to see if maybe some, like, background shit will kind of, like, sort itself out if we just take a little break. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a go. And then get back to the, um, back to the run. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh, shit, I know exactly which one. Um, let's see... Th Kingsfield. Oh yeah, that's right. See, see, there's a seat in Kingsfield. Well, that didn't take very long. <laughs> well, there's a new one in nine hours. Okay, that's kind of loud. Um, all right. Well, that didn't take up nearly as much time as I was expecting. <laughs> uh. Well, <laughs> let's see if uh. Some things that look like they were kind of eating up a lot of resources have maybe chilled out a bit.
And, uh, I mean, OBS seems like it's taking up just as much as it was before. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll just try it again. If it doesn't work this time, I might have to just end stream and we'll we'll come back to this uh, next weekend. It's a bit unfortunate because, like I said, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end of the demo. Um, that might make next weekend's stream like really short. Yes, I have played Blasphemous. In fact, I uh, did a little like a one off video with Blasphemous 2 uh, on launch day. It's like my first, I don't know how many hours, like probably like my first two hours or something like that. And like a little mini review at the end. I kind of meant to do something like that with, uh, with Lies of P and Lords of the Fallen, but never got around to it. Actually, that was also partially because the, the, my idea for the Lies of P slash Lords of the Fallen kind of evolved. Fuck, that's loud. Oh, and it crashed again. Yeah, that was. Yeah, it, it had a weird boss difficulty curve. Um, okay. Now I really don't know what to do, because it seems like it just wants to keep crashing. Uh, I was about to say I could try just reinstalling the mod, but that would actually that would take a very long time. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is going to be weird, uh, especially in terms of, like, future video, just to see if it's just the game being weird. I'm going to fire up Sekiro real quick, just to see if it also is having difficulties. But yeah, for, as far as Blasphemous 2, yeah, the... Uh, the final boss, I was having a really hard time with him. Uh, but then I started using the uh, the dual daggers or whatever they are. Uh, and like doing parrying him and stuff. And that ended up working out really well for me. And I was having a lot of fun with that. Okay, I'm just going to Drop in here and do like a boss free match. Uh. Let's do a let's do a quick uh, sword saint fight. Oh shit! I forgot that I still had the. Right, I was the last time I was doing this was when I was um <laughs> I was trying to get some shots for the thumbnail. Uh Where the hell is the, the HUD?
For anybody who maybe you like just joined not too long ago and is confused as to why I'm now playing Sekiro, uh, this is an experiment to see if the mod making the uh, if some uh, issues I was having with the game with DS3 crashing uh, was entirely my PC or just the game fucking up. Oh, I didn't realize he had hyper armor for that attack. Well, whoops. Now, could I have just, like, said, Alright, the game is working, and gone right back to Dark Souls? Yeah, but, you know. I started the fight. <laughs> Might as well finish it. <laughs> huh. He didn't do the, the second one. Weird. And there we go. Whoa, his eye is just his eye. His eye was kind of like popping out of his socket there. <laughs> uh, the big head mod is fantastic. Okay, this game seems to be running fine. So... Let's go back to Arch Thrones and see if it's figured its shit out or if it's just gonna keep crashing. Uh, where, where is the idol? It's over here. Yeah, oh, wait, except I'm just gonna be quitting into the game anyway, so I don't have to bother with that. Yeah, that's kind of just a, a funny thing in Sekiro in general, is that the phases with the lightning always... It, they look cooler, but then they always make the fight easier because of the lightning def uh, the lightning deflects. <laughs> okay. Let's see if somehow playing a bit of Sekiro fixed or arched the rents. <laughs> Oh yeah, the 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 Okami, the one that just kicks the balls at you. Yeah, the uh, the lightning timing is weird with her. In fact, in the Sekiro randomizer video that I just did, she showed up as one of the mini bosses, and uh, I distinctly remember editing me fucking up the timing on her lightning attack. <laughs> I wonder if the crashing could have anything to do with, uh... online. Let's 
Did that log me? That did not log me out, though. Okay, let me launch the game one more time so that I'm off in offline mode. But I wonder if that could potentially be having some effect on stability. Oh yeah, that's right, you can use uh, the mid-air death blow on her. I feel like I never really get a chance to use the mid-air death blow on her because I just, I'd end up just running up to her so fast and just stun-locking her. Oh, welcome back, Plasma. Uh, so, after you left, we got to a new boss, and after a few attempts, the game just kept crashing every time I needed every time I died to the boss. Uh, and then we went back to the uh, Sanctuary Guardian boss to see if that would also have issues, uh, and it, that it was also continuing to crash there. Uh, and so uh, we've been kind of messing around a little in other stuff to figure out if it's my PC or the game. Uh, so I might actually end up just having to like end stream if it just keeps dying. Okay. Maybe the brief stint in Sekiro somehow fixed the game. Ow. Forgot about that. Where are you going? There you are. Walk! Uh, apparently I have forgotten how to fight this boss. Ow. That second swipe comes out really fast. Why was it not letting me dodge out of... Oh, right, because this is Dark Souls and not Sekiro, and you can't just instantly do a safety roll to get off the ground. Some unlucky timings for these uh, attack sequences. Uh, I can't see where. Oh, it's going to phase two. Okay. I am still noticing some frame rate struggles. I think it, ultimately it probably is just my piece. Occasionally. Okay. Uh, occasionally my PC just randomly has performance issues. And then usually when I re. if I just do a restart, it's fine. I feel like it might be something like that. I just can't really restart my PC right now because it would kill the stream. I don't remember it doing that attack a single time. Okay. So it has a, a literal dive bomb attack. 
with uh, an ex AOE explosion on it. Good to know. I don't know if I can say no more crashing. Um, you might have. That might have just jinxed us. <laughs> but I mean, if it is my PC being weird, it. it uh, yeah, that's kind of my fault, because I even had the thought this morning of, like. Like, I booted the game up, like, quite a bit before stream, just to check if, in case there were any, like, updates for the mod to download. Uh... Because those can kind of take a while. Ah... Uh, and I didn't really think about... Or I, I thought for a second, like, oh, maybe I should just jump into the game real quick to make sure that, the, you know, it's running properly. I probably should have done that. Fuck. Ah. Uh. God damn it, every time I do it, it make any attempt to do anything, it just immediately queues up an attack. Wow, it loves the headbutt. What the fuck? The oh, okay, you're over there now. All right. Uh, so like, I dodged thinking that the, like, swoop part had a hit to it. And it would damage me, but maybe the swoop part doesn't have damage to it, and it's just the explosion. Because otherwise that would have been impossible to avoid both. Fuck! Come on. God damn it, I went way too early on that. <clears throat> where where are you going? Hello? The fucking back kick gets me like every time.
Because, like, the wind-up for it and the animation of it, I think, happened quicker than, like, my entire attack animation. So I'll attack before it's even started doing it and then get hit by it. I'm playing like shit right now. Frame rate's kind of dying. Okay, this shoots fireballs at you. Cool. I think that's the first time I've completely avoided that. Duh, huh? Why would you do that when I was right in front of you? Okay, I know what it is with the AoE dive bomb. It's, uh, I'm thinking, when it does that, I'm thinking when it hits the ground, it's gonna explode when it hits the ground. But it doesn't explode right when it hits the ground. It hits the ground, slides a bit, and then explodes. Yeah, that's a good question. I wonder if... Like... I don't know, I could see them keeping it kind of how it is in the full release, just, and then... You know, that'll... Maybe it's like an incentive to, like, get people to... Re-explore... To, like, come back to places after that. Fuck me! Why can I not dodge anymore? You know, to kind of, like, get people to come back to areas that they've already gone through. That's my problem! Man, it would, be, it would be nice though if the lock-on wasn't nearly as sensitive as it is. Like that spin move right there killed the lock-on. <laughs> And it didn't even, like, come anywhere close to leaving the camera. Okay, the camera was being weird there when it headbutted me. I thought it had, I kind of lost track of where I was at in the arena, and I thought that it had, like, launched me into the water. What am I doing? Why... Why can I not dodge anything anymore? Especially these fucking projectiles. 
It's like the, the projectiles just like aren't even registering in my brain. Great, thanks for killing the lock on right in the middle of my attack. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay, I know what it is with that particular one there. It's because it has like an aura of fire around it. And then it's shooting fire at at you, and they all get kind of like, at least in my brain, I think they're all just kind of like getting mushed together, and it's not entirely registering at, with me that there's fire coming at me, and that it's not just part of the like general fire aura. But legitimately, for some of the attacks where it's like... Like, I'm specifically the one where it, like, turns into the phoenix, and then it, the phoenix tosses fireballs at you. That one's really hard to avoid because you lose lock-on during it. And then it's usually coming at you from, like, a weird angle. Oh my god, I didn't even knew it was coming that time and still got hit by it! Fuck! As soon as I hit attack, I knew exactly what attack was going to be coming, and that I was going to get hit by it. There you are. What the hell? No, oh, you're okay. God damn it. How do you avoid that? <laughs> Woo! I actually I framed. Fuck me. Okay, well, I framed the big explosion, but then immediately got. Oh. Immediately got hit by. Fireballs. Hey, that's actually two times in a row that that fire breath attack hasn't done any damage to me. Get back here!
Ah, uh, 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 shit, it was doing that. God, fuck! I couldn't even see the attack! Alright, I, I don't like to complain about things like this, but some of those fireball attacks, like, actually seem uh, a bit fucked. Because they're, like, perfectly spaced so that if it's aimed at, like, gonna hit you and you have to iframe through it, you're, like, guaranteed to then get hit by a, another fireball. Where the fuck are you? Ow. God damn, that's a fast follow up. There was a message that said something about the encoder being overloaded. I wonder if that's what's going on, but I, like, I, don't, I don't know what... I don't think I can change my render setting, my like encoding settings, without also killing the stream. And I've also never seen that happen before, so I, I have absolutely no idea what the hell the problem is. Oh boy, I have over 4,000 dropped frames this stream. Oh, man. I honestly, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, let me just see if I can maybe change something around. Uh without killing the stream or recording. No, I cannot change the encoding. This is even the encoding that's, like, recommended, and is what I've been using literally the entire time. Yeah. Hello. Very large number of clone photons. Uh, yeah, I have absolutely no idea why why OBS hates me today. Um, I have a feeling it's just it, uh, going to keep crashing again. Um, and I don't know what to do to fix this problem. Because it, it kind of looks like it's an OBS problem, actually.
I might I might just have to end stream for today and then maybe see if I can figure something out before next week. I could try turning down the... I think my game is on... I mean, the game will kind of look a bit shit, but I could try turning down uh, the graphics a bit. I think it's on high currently. I could turn it down to, like, medium and see if that helps at all. I thought it really should be causing an issue. I didn't have any trouble last weekend. Alright, it's on medium now. I guess I gotta go rest at the bonfire because I don't have full health and I don't have all of my heals. Like I said, I think this is kind of on me for not checking to make sure that things were running properly before starting stream. Because I have been kind of noticing the game chugging a bit. Uh even earlier before it, before it started crashing, like when we were first coming through this area. But yeah, I think that it is just kind of on me for not double checking that things were running properly. So I think I forgot, no, I did turn, thing, turn it back down. Uh, Well, I don't know if it's just an OBS issue. I think it might be, like, my PC randomly running like shit. Which is... Making... Yeah, you know, also affecting OBS. God, that follow-up is so fast. <clears throat> ah, yes, actually avoided the kick. Oh, phase two. We use the collision of the fog wall to our advantage to take care of some of the fireballs. I have a feeling that they maybe didn't think about this when they were designing that. The, the, the fact that you could block a lot of the fireballs despite... Oh my god. Just from the uh, fog wall. My favorite attack. Ah, oh, god damn I keep forgetting that the AoE has extra fireballs after it. Where'd you go? God. No, oh my. Come on. I just want to hit the boss. I 
just sort of hit the boss with my sword! <laughs> Please! This is my primary issue with bosses like this. Sometimes they get into a loop where all they do is run away from you and shoot projectiles at you that are hard to avoid. Yeah, I feel like with the actual release of this, they're gonna have to figure something out with the camera to, like, make the lock-on a bit stickier. Because, like, legitimately, some of these attacks are, like, it jumps off-screen, killing, and the lock-on doesn't follow, and then you're, like, immediately getting hit by, like, a projectile or something. I can't dodge anymore. Nice miss, Gorkle. I could try... Where's camera sensitivity? Uh, did not see the option in there. Okay, somehow actually avoided all of the fireball. Hello? Uh, the boss is... <laughs> um <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> yeah, the Estus upgrade would be great, but I haven't I've been through like almost everywhere I have access to, apart from like beyond the Abyss Watcher. Well, I guess I can look for the. Oh, camera speed. Will it fix you if I hit you a bit? <laughs> okay, well, now it. No, it just doesn't feel right to... I'm not gonna abuse it while it's broken. That wouldn't sit right with me. Oh, game crashed again. Cool. Encoder... Okay, and it's the same... Giving me the same shit in OBS about the encoder being overloaded. God damn it. I should probably just end the stream and not be stubborn and keep going. I should probably just come back to this next week. Uh, why am I like this? I 
Actually, I know what it is. I mean, I'm hitting a similar thing as uh, when I the, the last stream I did. Well, last as in the most recent, not the fun. There's going to be one more stream with the Pokestop this month, but uh, I'm entering kind of a similar zone as I was with that, where I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end. Uh, and I don't want to like do like a one hour stream next weekend. <laughs> or have like a large portion of the stream be me moving around files while I'm reinstalling mods. <laughs> and downloading the game file. Oh. Uh, it didn't credit me with actually I think it used the homeward bone, but then because it died, it crashed during the loading screen. It didn't actually send me back to the bonfire, so I didn't have all of my Estus back. Okay, that was a bit closer than I thought it was going to be. I, I thought I was out of range for the tail swipe, but, uh... I was very close to not being out of range with the, <laughs> the tail swipe. Okay, I am having a bit easier time tracking it with uh, the camera speed turned up a bit. Shut up! Okay, that was a pretty decent first phase. I'm really taking for granted the fact that I don't think that those two will hit me. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it. Fucking bullet hell, boss. Oh, it was doing that. Okay. Okay, the, uh, the dive part of that attack does have a hitbox, turns out. Okay, I was doing the trip. Mm. 
Oh, you're over there. Okay. <laughs> Don't miss, Sparkle. There are so many... There are so few opportunities to actually get a hit in. Please don't miss. Okay, I'm getting lucky because for whatever reason, when it does... When it turns into the bird... ...and tosses fire, it keeps aiming at, like, nothing. Where are you? Okay, hello. Ah! There's so few openings! <laughs> ah! As soon as you get anywhere close to it, it just jumps away again. Yes! Yes! Finally! Yes! Oh! My god! Finally! Whew. I was just waiting for the game to crash immediately after killing it and then getting back and then like coming back to the game and the boss wasn't actually dead anymore. <laughs> Can't make anything with the Phoenix's soul. One large sight knight. Sure. Uh, what does the merchant guy have for sale? Oh, he has some large sight. Uh, well, this would have made life a bit easier. He was selling Lord's Titanite this entire time. And I could have upgraded this weapon. Oh well. Now it's upgraded again for, uh... I, I guess I will just go back to the Abyss Watcher. Yep, I finally got the Sanctuary Guardian dead. Let these souls withdrawn from their vessels. You know what, maybe I'll do a uh, little bit into vitality to up equip loot. I mean, it probably doesn't really change what I can... a lot as far as like what I can have on... I can put this helmet on now. Uh, yes, I'm headed to the boss that I was on when the game first decided to start continually crashing. Uh, I'm gonna try parries again. I suspect that this might be, like, the last boss of the demo, but I'm not entirely sure. Just because it, it seems like this area has kind of, kind of gone on for a little while, and this is the second boss of this zone. Or third boss of this zone, actually. Ow. 
Ow. Ha <laughs> ha Um... It's after beating Arch Thrones... I mean, probably the first stream after finishing this mod will be... Uh... I do still have some work to do on the Poke Souls mod. Midir is still alive in that, and uh, I think where the last stream of that mod left off, I was ah, god damn it! I had just beaten the po the champion, and. Uh, there's like a legendary trainer that became available to fight, but then the game crashed immediately upon trying to fight that trainer. And I had already been streaming for like 11 hours, so I, was like, so I just left things off there. So I still have to finish that mod. That'll probably be what comes af after finishing this run. Ha 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 ha. comes the wolf. Uh, I love it when it goes off screen! Why, for whatever reason, this wolf in particular, it just always wolf catches me. Why is the Abyss Watcher aggro now? Did they switch aggro? Okay, they switched aggro. I thought last time there was like a tell for when they swapped aggro. Uh, hello, excuse me, Wolf, you're in the way. There's not even, like, an excuse for being bad at fighting. There's no excuse for even be ba being bad at fighting this wolf, because it's not even changed from the base game. It's just straight up the big wolf from the DLC. Yeah, I guess the plus side to it having the, uh, the Poison Blade Lone Shadow move is, um, they were nice and didn't make it do poison. Like that move does in Sekiro. Ow. Ha <laughs> uh, I got the partial parry. Why did I parry there? Ah! 
Uh, now I'm just fucking it all up. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, he uses the knife in his offhand, but what they have to figure out is the tech to uh, make it so the Abyss Watchers actually use... Like, if you look at their armor, like, even in, like, the intro cutscene to the Abyss Watchers fight, they have... Like, a... What can only be described as, like, a decorative dagger on their armor. That has absolutely no use. Get in there! Alright. Ah! Where the hell did you come from? That wolf, you're blocking my view. Wow, I did not realize how long of range that ice attack had. Oh, I think I poisoned the wolf. I, I kind of forgot that this sword has poison and bleed. He's still going. Uh, 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 uh. uh Wolf is one hit away. Get back here. Okay, Wolf is down. Uh. Okay, I thought it was about to enter like a nightmare mode. I don't think that his aggression- okay. That's something they'll have to fix. Yeah, that, that's something that they'll have to fix in the full release, is, um... Their aggro... Their AI is definitely set on a timer for which one's aggroed. Uh... Without any sort of accommodation for when the second one died. So that's definitely something they'll have to figure out in the full release. This might just be it! Let me go back and see if I missed anything back here, but that might have actually just been it. <laughs> so I didn't see any paths out of that boss room. Yeah, that's where I came from. Have I been this way? There's a giant crystal lizard. But then a dead end. Oh god, I'm inside it. Uh... Ah, okay. 
I, th I thought something bad was gonna happen there because it <laughs> jumped me inside the rock. Um, yeah, I think that might actually just be it. Because this is a dead end. Hmm. This looks suspiciously like it might be like blocking off the continuation of the area, actually. Like, that might be the path forward in the full release. Um, yeah, so... I think that's everything in the demo? As far as I'm aware, that's- I've done everything now. Uh... Let me just pop back to Firelink. See if there's anything to do there real quick. Whatever, I'm just gonna use a homeward bone. It doesn't matter. I won't really need them anymore. Okay, now I'm glad that I pushed on and just finished. Despite the stability issues. Uh, because, yeah, that would have been a very short stream next weekend. Um, but, yeah, th this was... This has been an extremely impressive mod. Like, I, I... I think I might even go as far as to say... As far as to say that, like... I, I think this might just straight up be the most impressive mod I've played. Um... And it's still just the demo phase. I have absolutely no clue what, like, their timeline is for, um the full release, or if they even have one. I, I think they're kind of... I, I think they've said that they had some issue with uh, some people having, like, burnout and a bit, and, and stuff like that, trying to get the demo ready. So I think they've kind of taken a slightly more relaxed approach going forward. So I, I don't know what that means for, like, the t final... Uh timeline or anything. Well, I mean, there are... Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, apart from uh, some of the animations for the... the, uh... Sanctuary Guardian boss... I mean, a lot of the that uh, Phoenix's moves were felt original. But uh, yeah, if, if this is kind of like just a taste of what's to come, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to when they finally release the full thing. They have said that uh, they don't plan on like doing continual up dates to this to keep adding more content and that they are just gonna leave the demo more or less as is until they're ready for the and then they'll put out the full release um uh, so yeah definitely looking forward to that um and i guess before i go kind of things to look forward to uh i'm still working on part two of the secular randomizer uh i got ridiculously busy this past week and didn't have very much time to edit. Uh, so I'm still working on that. It's getting there. Uh, after that's out, I'm gonna at least do like a video or two with this run. Um, as like kind of what's coming up for the edited stuff. Uh, but then next weekend, as far as uh, streaming goes, Next weekend, I will be heading back to the world of Poke Souls to hopefully uh, finally finish that run off uh, after the kind of disaster that was the last session with that mod. Um, and uh, that might end up being kind of a short stream. We'll see. Uh, if so, I might 
do a couple practice runs for DS3 Deathless, and then add that in. Um, yeah, that's what it's kind of, I guess there's a, like, lag on when I'm seeing your <laughs> chat, but yeah, yeah, if it takes like 40 minutes to do it, I might, uh, like, I haven't really practiced, I, I've routed, but have not really practiced DS3 Deathless, so I might, uh, do a switch to some DS3 Deathless if, uh, the end of Dark Amon doesn't take very long. But anyway, that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, thanks again for everybody who stopped by or who's like watching the VOD. And uh, see you guys next weekend. Okay, just a quick update. That's why I was trying to quit out of the game there. It did crash again. <laughs> anyway, see y'all later. Uh, uh, yeah, have a, have a have a nice Easter, everybody. <laughs>